American Comics Double Thor Comparison, Odin is Envious, 051 Kiesilius Disobeying Orders, Ad, Kamartage, Kiesilius walked out of the holy place and went straight to the practice place of Sorcerer Supreme. The door is open. He walked in as usual, and respectfully said to Ancient One sitting cross-legged with his eyes closed as usual, Ancient One Magician, the dimension detection shows that another Aspen Protoss has entered the earth, just like the previous Liu Oji. There is no divine power response, which is very strange. Pause, he asked. Do you need us to monitor in the mirror dimension? Ancient One slowly opened his eyes, revealing a pair of calm but deep eyes. Quill, is this the Sorcerer Supreme? So skinny and bald, it looks like I could make her cry with one punch. Deadpool, dude, have you always been this brave? As far as I know, Sorcerer Supreme has very small minds. Quill, it doesn't matter, I'm talking about another Ancient One, what's the matter with our Ancient One? She has the ability to travel through time to hit me. Gamera, hee hee, you're so smart. Off screen, the magician Wang blinked. Is it really okay to be so self-deceiving? And why do you feel like you offended the two Ancient One magicians? In the room where the cigarettes were curling up, Ancient One said lightly. There is no need to monitor and contact. The two of them were expelled by the divine power sealed by Odin. It will not have any impact on the earth. Kiesilius nods in understanding, then leaves. It's just that the moment he stepped out of the door, a look of longing and greed flashed away in his eyes. Dot. Mai's town. Thor walked slowly on the road, waiting to see if someone from Kamartage came to find him. Ten minutes later, just as he was about to walk out of the town, a portal shining with golden sparks appeared in front of him. Ad, Thor frowned slightly. He immediately recognizes that this is a standard Kamartage portal. Originally, according to his expectation, the probability of the other party coming is extremely low, but he seems to have guessed wrong. The next second, a man wearing something similar to a monk's robe came out. However, it is different from expectations. He saw that the other party had a smile on his face. Interesting. Thor's heart moved, he stopped in his tracks, and put on a vigilant look on his face. He he, Prince Thor doesn't have to be so vigilant, I didn't come here with any malice. The visitor smiled and continued, you must have seen that I am the magician of Kamartage. My name is Kiesilius, I am here to help you. Ebony more, it seems that the majesty of Sorcerer Supreme needs to be laxed. The magician under him does not obey orders at all. Magician Wang, it's not the same timeline. Why bother to say this? Kiesilius, that's right. Two Thors are so different, can't others? I think you are sowing discord, Ebony Moore. He he, I just kindly remind this magician not to be so excited. Modu, 199,999 universe, Kamartage is not some evil organization, don't care. Off screen, Kiesilius' back was already wet with cold sweat. He never expected that his crisis would come from another self. That Modu said it nicely. I'm afraid he will check himself immediately after the light curtain is over. At this moment, he looked at himself in the light curtain full of resentment. Thor's expression relaxes, but immediately felt a little frustrated and said, Magicians don't have to call me Prince Thor. Add, I have now been expelled by my father, and all my divine power has been sealed. Now I'm just an ordinary person. Kiesilius's eyes flashed an inexplicable color, then he smiled and said, Prince Thor was joking, as an Ezeprotos, even if you don't have divine power, it is difficult for ordinary people to achieve. A human like me whose lifespan is only a few decades, will not learn a few spells until the day he dies. Hee hee, let's not talk about this. In fact, I came this time to prepare my identity for you. Speaking, Kiesilius picked up a bag, handed it to Thor and said, Here are some clothes that humans usually wear, communication equipment, and your certificate of living on Earth. Thor picked up the ID card and glanced at it, it was his own face. But the name is not Thor, but Donald Blake. At this moment Kiesilius laughed again. I modified this from an organization called SHIELD. From a verification point of view, it is true. In this way, your life will be much less troublesome in the future. Off screen Nick Fury's face darkened when he heard this. Listen to the meaning of this. When the other party goes to SHIELD, it's like going to your own home. Modifying the certificate is as simple as drinking saliva. So can he think that the timeline on his side is also the same? This is what SHIELD did to others. But now it's my turn. For a moment, he felt a strong depression in his heart. At this time, Thor was a little curious. Did Liu Oji also get these help? Kiesilius's heart tightened, but on the surface he smiled nonchalantly, definitely, add. But it was done by another female magician. I don't know where she is. And I'm sorry, this kind of thing is Kamartage's secret, I can't tell you yet. However, I believe that it won't be long before Kamartage will lift this ban after seeing that Princess Liu Oji is harmless. That is no more, Thor nodded, smiled and said thank you. Kiesilius didn't say any more just said that if something happened, he could use the communication device to find himself, and then opened the portal to leave, until the sparks disappeared, the smile on Thor's face also disappeared, but there was a sneer in his eyes, he is sure that there is definitely something wrong with this magician, even, it may not be Kamartage's order for the other party to come, 
as long as that Sorcerer Supreme is not stupid, he will understand that the so-called expulsion is just another kind of experience, so help the troubled prince, hey, this seems a bit stupid, however, he doesn't mind acting with the other party, maybe there will be a big harvest, if he guessed correctly, the other party will definitely come to him in a few days, Kamataj, ancient one frowned slightly, wrong, all wrong, she thought it was just Thor and Loki who were different, but now it seems that the other timeline has changed too much, should have helped Strange become Kesilius, the key figure in Sorcerer Supreme, at the moment had the idea of rebelling early and the other self didn't seem to do anything about it, the other party is not afraid of changes in the future infinite rough stone crisis, is it really going to the end, or dot 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 the other self saw more, oh five two it's very simple, just kill me, add, ten minutes later, Thor successfully checked into a hotel, I have to say that although that Kesilius has malicious intentions, this ID card is still very useful. Leaning on the bed, Thor replays Kesilius' appearance again. First, I know that I came to Midjid Kamartaj. Second, the other party did not respond to Mjolnir's divine punishment. Third, Kesilius has bad intentions for himself, so he should come to him soon. The first two points make Thor a little confused about what Ancient One's attitude is now. For the third point, maybe you can sell a floor to this human being to see what the other party is going to do. Just as Thor was thinking, there was a knock on the door suddenly, Thor didn't drive in a hurry. He glanced at the black vehicle downstairs through the gap in the curtain, and saw a few familiar people inside. After thinking about it, he still chose to open the door and didn't intend to leave. Hello, NMPD. Two policemen, a man and a woman, stood outside the door, and it was the woman who spoke. She casually showed her ID, then said with a serious face, Excuse me, is that Mr. Donald Blake? It's me. Thor remembers that this is his new identity called this name. The magician named Kesilius even thoughtfully prepared him the status of a Norse mythology professor, so that it is not easy to pass through, and he is currently traveling around the world. After hearing the answer, the woman nodded, that's right. We accepted an alien sighting, that is, the colorful outer space energy impact you saw. Now you need to go back with us and sign a non-disclosure agreement. Come with us. Chatram. Natasha Romanoff. These two people don't look like ordinary police officers, but agents. Tony. Why do you say that? Clint. Their hand is always on the waist gun ready to shoot at any time, it's not like asking someone to go back and sign a non-disclosure agreement. Banner, can't it be that their professionalism is good? Natasha Romanoff, in fact, there is still the biggest loophole. This kind of thing is usually done by SHIELD, not the police department. Tony, so could they be SHIELD agents? Natasha Romanoff, no way. There is no need to pretend to be a policeman for this kind of thing. As an agent of a special department, it is easier for ordinary people to obey. Tony, why is that? Thor just came to Earth so it is impossible to have enemies, and obviously, it couldn't be the magician of Kamartaj, add, Natasha Romanoff, that's exactly what can't be explained, but no matter who this group of people are, they are probably going to be in bad luck, Thor looked the two of them up and down, then laughed, if that's the case, let's go with you, it's not a waste to take those two clothes, although the men and women outside the door were a little confused, since the target did not resist, there is no need to make extra troubles, nods, the two of them go downstairs with Thor sandwiched in front of each other, there were three minivans parked outside, and when Thor came down, the window of the middle car opened, revealing a woman with a good figure, she exclaimed like a female hooligan, Jane, look, there is a handsome guy, the blonde woman next to her suddenly pushed her, she seemed a little embarrassed, but she couldn't hold back her body and was very honest, she still looked out of the window, she was stunned for a moment when she saw this, but she immediately returned to normal, at this point the female police officer signals Thor to get into the middle car, Louis, who just opened his mouth after hearing this, immediately helped to open the car door, and then sat inside with a smile. Soon, three cars drove out of the town. At this time, he didn't stop talking, and Louis, who was asking Thor about everything, suddenly looked outside and said in bewilderment, Officer, did you go to the wrong place? Isn't there a police station in the town? The man driving in front and the female police officer sitting in the passenger seat said with a blank expression, The police station in the small town is not classified enough. Don't worry, it will be there in a while. Louis nodded thinking there was no problem. However, after such an interruption, she no longer has the desire to continue chatting with the handsome guy. Definitely. The main reason is that the handsome guy has not responded, and she thinks that the other party is probably dumb. At this moment, Jane Foster suddenly said, The clothes on your body were taken from our car. Hearing this, Louis leaned out and took a look, and suddenly said in surprise, Donald Brad, Jane, isn't this the clothes your ex-boyfriend left with you? The labels on them haven't been torn off yet. Louis wanted to call you a thief angrily. But when Ney looked at that handsome face, the words on his lips became, Do you want me to buy you a suit, handsome guy? However, she didn't notice it, but after she finished her last sentence, the expressions of the two policemen in the front row, a man and a woman, 
changed at the same time. Chat room. Natasha Romanoff, this is definitely not an agent of a small organization. Exclamation mark. Quill, can you see that too? Add. Crete, there is a problem with a name. The two agents had already realized that one of the stolen clothes had Donald's name on it, and he had a Donald Brad name in such a short period of time. This cannot be explained by coincidence. In the car, Louis and Jane were waiting for an answer. But Thor suddenly sighed and laughed. Unfortunately, I originally planned to go a little further away, and this place is still a little closer to the town. But it's not a problem. Louis didn't hear clearly what he was saying. He just looked at him with an nympha smile. Jane looked confused and said in puzzlement, what can? However, halfway through her words, the vehicle suddenly stopped. The two agents in the front row drew their guns and turned around without any hesitation, wanting to shoot. But as soon as they raised their hands, Thor had already grabbed the woman's wrist at a faster speed. Amidst the crisp clicks and screams, the other hand held the muscle of the gun at the same time. Boom. A muffled sound. Jane, Louis, and Professor Rerick all saw the pistol burst into flames, and then they were violently crushed by one hand. The next second, Thor pulled hard, and the woman slammed into the man in the driver's seat uncontrollably. The two fell down with a muffled groan, not knowing whether they were alive or dead. This series of shocking changes happened within a second. Just when Louis and Jane were about to scream out, they saw a more terrifying scene. A silver white lightning hit the vehicle that stopped almost at the same time, and then exploded into a ball of fire. The violent cracking sound in the ears and the terrifying tanwa made the three of them huddle together, and they didn't even dare to scream this time! Exclamation mark. Thor glanced at the three of them indifferently, and pushed open the car door. Before he left, he left only one sentence, Get out of here quickly, and it's best not to trust anyone, they are not the police. He doesn't know what these fake policemen want to do, but it's definitely not a good thing. The rescue of these three people can be regarded as repaying the favor of the clothes. After he finished speaking, he disappeared into the darkness, and he didn't have any thoughts of interacting with these people. Ten seconds later, Jane and the others came out of the car tremblingly. At this time, they realized that not only the front car, but also the latter had turned into a fireball. Obviously there was more than one bolt of lightning just now. The three looked at each other, and they all saw the shock in each other's eyes. Hand blocking the muzzle. Add. Summon thunder. Is this a human being? At this moment. Professor Eric suddenly remembered what the man said before he left, and hurriedly took the two of them away. They don't feel that such an existence will deceive them. If it wasn't for the other party, I'm afraid it would be a disaster for them to be taken away by fake police. Tony. These few people are really lucky, because a piece of clothing saved their lives. Sif. How can the Prince of Asgard owe you favors? Steve Rogers. I think this Thor is kind too. Quill. Paul Orff has something to say. Steve. Here. Thor returns towards the town. No way. The money and the phone are still in the hotel. He has to go back to get them. But at this moment, another golden portal in the darkness lights up and blocks the front. Thor frowns slightly. Is this Kieselius in such a hurry? Should I buy a floor for the other party? But in the next second, he saw a bald woman walking out of it. The world seems to be a little brighter. No, that's not the point. Thor hurriedly expelled the strange thoughts in his mind, with a neither humble nor overbearing face, politely said. So it's Sorcerer Supreme himself. Don't you know what's going on? He didn't pretend to be confused. It's outrageous that the eldest prince of Asgard doesn't know what the Ancient One looks like. Ancient One said lightly. Is there really something I want you to help me with? Thor didn't expect the other party to be so straightforward, but he still asked. Ancient One magician is polite. However, I only have a decent body right now, so I'm afraid it won't be of much help. Ancient One shakes his head. No, you can definitely help, you say. Thor had no choice but to reply, but in his heart he planned to say that no matter what the other party said, he could do nothing. But in the next second, he heard Ancient One calmly say, it's very simple dot 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 kill me. 053 let's go, Thor, I can feel your divine power ready to try. Add. At this moment, Ancient One's words fell on everyone's ears like thunder. No matter whether it is her enemy or not, they all showed shock. The chat room was quiet for a moment, and then erupted. Magician Wang, I, I must have heard wrong. Exclamation mark. Mod you, impossible. Judging from the previous pictures, the Ancient One magician on this timeline should be no different from ours. This must be Kieselius in disguise. Kong Su, this dot 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 is really not the style of Ancient One. Agatha, I can't understand, isn't the meaning of the existence of Sorcerer Supreme supposed to protect the dimension of reality? Why commit suicide? Quill, maybe she has seen through Thor's disguised divine power. What at the moment said, she just wanted to fight Thor. Gamera, what are you taking Sorcerer Supreme for? Are you as brainless as you? Odin is still alive. As a result of her doing that, the god king of Asgard went mad, and Bifrost directly wiped out the stars. Baron Modu, 838 universe, due to the possible collision of the universe, I can only say that maybe there is a problem with the practice of this ancient one. Kong Su, I still don't believe that there is nothing wrong with this woman's life, 
but it turned out that something went wrong when Thor came. My long career as a god has taught me that there are no coincidences in this world, Surti, I know, this is destiny! Exclamation mark. Just like Ragnarok, I've seen it countless times, no matter what happens, that day will surely come! Exclamation mark. Add, Hala, how pathetic and stupid! Quill, it's better to see what I think after talking so much! Ancient One Magician, what do you think of the behavior of your other self? As soon as these words came out, the chat room fell silent. However, there was no answer after a few breaths. Dot. Kamartage. There was no trace of surprise on Ancient One's face. He was puzzled. All she knew was that the other self must have made a choice, or even see something. Dot. Boom. A thunderbolt wanders among the heavy clouds, briefly illuminating the world. Thor's expression calmed down after hearing the shocking words. What does Ancient One magician mean? Why can't I understand? Ancient One smiled, and did not explain, but said, you didn't have to save those three people just now. I saw the kindness in your heart. This seems to be a compliment, but it doesn't make Thor feel happy. And being watched by Ancient One all the time didn't make him angry. He just looked at Ancient One calmly with both eyes, and said lightly, Sorcerer Supreme is wrong. Add, it's too narrow to judge me with goodness and evil. I am who I am and don't need anyone's judgment. Although he didn't ignite his divine power at this moment, his unique temperament couldn't be concealed by this seemingly ordinary body. That is, the pride of his god of thunder flame, and wisdom. Quill, how strange, I actually have the urge to kneel down, Sif, because such is God. Kong Su, huh. He is still young, time will eventually wipe out everything about him, and he will become another Rodin after all. Thanos, he he, ancient Luna, haven't you heard Thor's words? You are showing a narrow mind at this moment. Adarinova Queen, I am surprised that the Dark Titan can say this. High Priest Agatha, HMPH, how can a lunatic with a normal mind understand it? Ebony more. You will never understand the greatness of the Dark Lord. Gamer look down outside the light curtain. If it is considered great to kill ordinary life in the entire universe, she really can't understand it. Odin is really lucky. Ancient one side with emotion, and didn't get entangled in this matter. She returned to the previous topic again. Then Thor Odinson, I can tell you very clearly now that I was not joking about what I said before. Why? Thor at the moment was really puzzled. If there is no Sorcerer Supreme, the Earth is either already a subsidiary of Asgard, or has already been swallowed by those dimensions Mephisto. There is no third possibility. Death! Exclamation mark. Add. This is even more unbelievable than Liu Oji passing the trial of the three gods. Ancient One smiled and said, It's actually really easy. Everything always needs a price, and the price of this matter is my death. Speaking, she waved one hand, and suddenly a series of cracks appeared in the space-like glass shattering. The next second, the figures of the two disappeared in place. This sudden scene left many people confused. But then someone in the chat room explained, Magician King, this is the mirror dimension spell, and now the Ancient One Magician and Thor are in the mirror space. That is a world created by the caster that is exactly the same as the real world but has nothing to do with it. And as his voice fell, the light curtain also flipped. Mexico State, outside Mai's town, different from the dark night and thunderstorm just now, here the sun is shining brightly and the sky is clear. And at the moment, Ancient One seemed to have finished speaking, and smiled at Thor. Then before planning, I still need to try how powerful the so-called god of thunder, fire, and wisdom is, otherwise everything before is just empty talk. Shoot it, Thor. I already feel that your divine power, which is silent under the divine body, is ready to dry. 054 Phantom Manipulation. Add. Outside the light screen, Pesilius looked expectantly, although in a different timeline. But there seems to be no difference between the two ancient ones at present, and the strength gap between them should not be too outrageous. So, now this happens to be an opportunity to see what chances of what I plan to succeed. And he is not the only one who has this kind of thought at this moment. Thanos, Kinsu, even Mephisto, the god of black magic, Scython. I want to see how much strength this old woman has left after more than a thousand years. Presumably using time gem to keep alive, the power should drop a lot. Dot. Chatterum, Fandral, although I don't understand why there is a fight, but this battle must be earth shattering. Elder of the universe, Gautanzun, main body. The game between the new gods witnessed by the world tree and the remnants of the old era. What a pity, this should be watched by all races in the cosmic arena, not in a mirror space. Collector, it's rare to see you wake up, so who do you think will win? Gautanzun, I don't know, and I don't want to know. Isn't the fun of a duel just to wait for the final winner? Fighting sword, you are right, this is the joy of fighting. Crushing or something is the most boring thing in the world. Add, Kong Su, maybe you will be disappointed. Ancient One, a human being, has lived for so long. Probably because of the time gem. Today's decaying body may not have any strength. Zeus, that sounds urgent. God of the moon. Could it be that the god realm of Thebes is no longer willing to be below the dimension of reality? Kong Su, ha ha, how is it possible? I am just afraid that some people will be disappointed. The battle is about to start, so don't talk, 
start watching. Zeus, oh, you are right, I misunderstood. Dot. Inside the Stark building, Tony blinked. At this moment, he felt that these gods didn't seem to be so lofty, and their yin and yang vigor was no worse than that of human beings. Dot. Doomsday Timeline Hillwai showed a nervous look. At this moment, she very much hoped that Thor could defeat Ancient One. Dot. Boom. When Ancient One's voice fell, the original blue sky was instantly infected by ink. The clouds are rolling, the storm is roaring. Thor's seemingly weak body became straight, and the outline of his thinned muscles became sharp again. The dead divine power is rekindled, like a roaring giant wave emerging. His eyes burned with flames, emitting golden thunder. The gold and silver intersecting divine armor snapped together one by one, and the flame cloak stretched backwards like a banner of iron and blood hunting. Although I don't know why the other party can see through my divine power without a seal. Add, although Mjolnir is not here. But, why not fight? Exclamation mark. He has long wanted to try the Sorcerer Supreme that can draw with the Father of God, just how strong it is. Boom. In an instant, a bucket-thick silver thunderbolt fell from the sky and struck at Ancient One. Folds appear in the space in an instant, and a mirror-like space fold appears above Ancient One. The lightning falls on it and is refracted immediately, and goes out obliquely, blasting a big hole in the Gobi. At the same time, Ancient One waved one hand. Suddenly the ground began to rapidly shape-shift and extend, and the distance between the two began to widen! Exclamation mark. Anyone with a little vision off the screen will understand. This is Ancient One going to distance yourself. Although Kamar Taj's body and secret law double cultivation. But it is obviously stupid to fight the Ezeprotos who are tyrannical in the flesh. Or cast a spell to take advantage. But at this moment the ground trembled. It was actually Thor who stepped on the ground, blasting out a cobweb-like depression. The next instant, a sonic boom erupted from his body. And the whole person came closer to Ancient One almost in the blink of an eye. Two golden magic circles appeared under Ancient One's feet in an instant and he bent his knees slightly, obviously trying to avoid it. But the mutation suddenly appeared. I saw the shadow behind Ancient One suddenly come to life, its hands grabbed the hands of its master suddenly, and it was frozen in place. Kong Su, this punch was hit, even if she is a sorcerer supreme, she will be seriously injured if she does not die. Hogan, I almost forgot, Thor's spellcasting ability is also excellent, but this spell looks a bit weird. Mystery, it looks like a secret technique from the Forest of Witches, which is weird and difficult to prevent. President Loki. You're right, but you've all seen this spell before. Add, Quill, see you? Am I missing something? Baron Mordo, 838 Universe. No, I guess this should be an advanced use of magic. Elderly Loki, the Void, good eyesight. Actually dot 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 it's phantom magic. To be honest, before today, I always thought that phantom manipulation could only control my own shadow. But I didn't expect to be able to control other people's. After practicing to this point, I am afraid that I have used phantom magic to the extreme. Magician Wang. This. If Thor was born on the earth, I am afraid that he will be the next Sorcerer Supreme. This ability to cast spells in Asgard. A bit of a waste, to be honest. Dot. Wang's words touched the hearts of many people. But at the same time, it also made some jealous people feel better. Look, even if he is a god, there are things he cannot get. However, at the moment, more people are concerned about how Ancient One will resolve this imminent crisis. Dot. The body is tightly pulled, but Ancient One's face is still calm. A magic circle lit up on the wrist, and a ball of flame flowed out from it. The pitch black shadow suddenly dimmed, and then the shadow holding her arm shook and disappeared. However, although she has released the control, time is running out. The air is shaking. Thor's fist trapped in flames has already struck. 055 Thunderstorm. Add. Outside the light curtain, Ancient One failed to save himself by casting spells, making countless people unbelievable. After this punch, if she didn't transform herself, the human body would probably be smashed to pieces. Looking at Thor's meaning at the same time, there is no thought of stopping at all. Boom, like a burning meteor piercing the sky, the punch that made the air tremble hit Ancient One. But this punch is more than that. At this moment, the flames bloomed, attacking like a huge wave roaring! Exclamation mark. But the picture of blood splattering and bones being smashed in the imagination did not appear. Ancient One disappeared. Instead, a group of butterflies radiating spiritual light flew out from the flames. The chat room was suddenly no longer quiet. Mystery, what kind of magic is this? Baron Mordo, 838 Universe. No, this is a secret technique, which is fundamentally different from magic. King Magician, so this is Hogarth's ancient body? I never knew this spell could be used on myself! Exclamation mark. Modu, that's Sorcerer Supreme, there's nothing she can't do. Ronan, there is indeed something. Such a punch can be so easily dispelled. Off screen, Ronan said it casually, but he was shocked in his heart. With a punch of this level, he felt that if he didn't defend himself, he would definitely die. But the opponent silently resolved it. This earth really shouldn't have been there back then. At this moment, a cold snort came, 
I saw that the flame that burst out from Thor's punch not only did not disappear, but began to surge. The next second dense fire crows flew out of it, they let out bursts of irritating calls, and quickly flapped their wings to bite the butterflies. In the blink of an eye, almost half of Psylocke was swallowed by the fire crow. However, the rest have changed. Those Psylocke's turned into ancient ones. For a while, there were hundreds of sorcerer supremes in the air, looking at Thor coldly at the same time. Quill, what kind of spell is this? It's simply a group fighting skill. Magician King, the shape of Icon. Each duplication has its own strength. Kesilius, but dot 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 why there is no casting action? Question mark. Mod you, as I said, that's Sorcerer Supreme, don't compare yourself. If you have time to be amazed, it is better to practice more, maybe one day we can too. Add dot. At this time, the mutation reappears. I saw rounds of golden earrings appearing in the eyes of all the ancient ones, spreading outwards and looping continuously, making people dizzy at first glance. In an instant, all the fire crows in the air exploded, and at this moment, even the people outside the light curtain felt uncomfortable. Holy place number two is in. As the most inspirational ebony more at the moment, it seems that the world seems to be darkened, and there are pairs of eyes staring at me all around. Although this hallucination disappeared in a second, his back was wet with cold sweat. This is through that light curtain. It's hard to imagine what Thor feels like being watched. At this time, the flame and thunder in Thor's eyes disappeared. Instead, silver white light burst out from the eyes of God, full of coldness and reason. Seeing that the mental attack failed, all the ancient ones raised their hands. The golden magic circle was formed almost instantly, and the flaming swords were held in the hands. In a second, hundreds of white sandy holy swords were all thrown towards Thor. Inside the stark building, Loki's heart trembled. Every flaming sword has a feeling that makes his heart jump, and there is no doubt that no sword can block it, and now hundreds of them are stabbing at the same person at the same time. He felt that no matter how powerful this Thor was, he might be seriously injured, even death. But, thunder, Thor's divine power surged, and he let out an astonishing battle cry. In an instant, the sky was as dark as a solar eclipse. Then it lights up again instantly. It was an unknown number of thunderstorms, which slanted down across a space of several thousand meters in the blink of an eye, completely submerged in all the space hundreds of meters around Thor as the center. Exclamation mark. On the light curtain, there is only the dazzling thunder, and the continuous loud explosion that can shake the soul. Other than that, there is nothing else beyond the light curtain. At this moment, almost all the creatures who are watching this scene instinctively have the same word in their hearts. Tanwai! Exclamation mark. Chatteram! Gamera! What an exaggerated thunder, I feel numb even off the screen. Richard, 838 Universe, I used to think that Storm's thunder summoning was exaggerated, but I didn't expect it to be less than 1 out of 10. Professor Rex, 838 Universe, it is indeed too exaggerated. I feel my heart vibrate just looking at it. Add, Quill, this dot 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 is this Thor? The one with the hammer can only be the hammer god. Hala, no, this is the fortune teller. President Loki, I've never seen a Thor do this. Hogan, I thought this Thor was already very powerful, but I didn't expect it to be even stronger. High Priest Heshaw, if you can get his gene, you will definitely give birth to a super powerful child. Deadpool, what do you think of me? Eshaw, go. Kong Su, he he. Now we should be concerned about how Ancient One is doing. This kind of supernatural power, I am afraid that even she will not be able to bear it. Zeus, if it was her thousands of years ago, I guess she would be basically uninjured, but I don't know now. Quill, this was harmless a thousand years ago. What a bunch of monsters. Dot. Maid, you said something nonsense. Kong Su couldn't help cursing outside the screen. He guessed that the other party wanted to know Ancient One's current strength as much as himself, but his mouth was tight and he probably hoped that Ancient One would be hacked to death directly. Dot. Beach side. Thor is both excited at this moment, and at the same time very bitter inside. Excited that the power of Thor can do this. But the bitter thing is, comparing myself to the other party, I'm really ashamed of Thor's name. Dot. The terrifying thunderstorm lasted for tens of seconds before completely stopping. The sky became brighter again, and all the Ancient Ones disappeared. And the Earth, at the moment, has been completely ploughed over and there are large file-sized small charred black pits everywhere, constantly emitting green smoke. Thor stood where he was, with no trace of victory on his indifferent face. Silver white A's, looking at another void. Suddenly, the space that turned over like a Rubik's Cube that was broken up, and finally assembled into a complete person. It is Ancient One. As expected of Sorcerer Supreme, I didn't even take any damage. Thor was a little surprised in his heart. He knows that Ancient One is powerful. After all, it is an existence that can fight against the King of God but the clothes are so intact, it is obvious that there is no damage. Off the screen, some people are excited, while others sink to the bottom of their hearts. Kamartaj. At this moment, Kesilius looked more like someone who had just summoned thunder, his face was pale, and he couldn't accept this scene at all. 
He couldn't understand why Ancient One is still so powerful now, but immediately his eyes lit up, and the drowning man grabbed the straw first. Add, Eye of Agamotto, she must have used this infinite gem, otherwise, it will never be like this. I still have a chance. Dot, 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 I still have. In midair, Ancient One floats steadily. Hearing this, she chuckled softly. Prince Thor doesn't need to underestimate himself. Actually, I didn't resist at all just now. That kind of heavenly power, even I need to avoid the edge. Thor doesn't know if what the other party said is true or not, maybe what was just annihilated is duplication. However, he now sees another problem. In this mirrored space, the other party seems to be able to manipulate the space at will. I have to find a way to break to win. Thinking of this, Thor no longer hesitates. A moment. His eyes emit a dazzling golden light. The heart began to roar like a warhammer. The divine power flowing in the body begins. Stop stop. Suddenly, there was a hurried shout in the air. Thor stopped pushing, frowned and looked up with some puzzlement in his eyes. At this time, Ancient One showed a hint of helplessness and said, there is no need to continue. If you use that kind of power, there is no need to implement the previous plan. Thor understood in an instant, so he had to stop regretfully. He can still tell the difference. He is not the kind of idiot who will get on top when he starts a fight. At this time, Ancient One sighed, your strength is much stronger than Odin at this age, I am very relieved. As for the reward, you don't have to worry. Sorcerer Supreme will never break its promise. Then, that's it. After speaking, Ancient One waved his hand, the mirror space disintegrated in the shattering, and the rainy night returned, leaving only Thor standing in place. At this moment, someone suddenly spoke in the chat room. Secret guest, I don't know if you have noticed it, according to Ancient One, that thunderstorm is actually not Thor's strongest method at all. He still has a whole card! Exclamation mark. 056 Redefining the God of Tricks. Add. Outside the light curtain. As the secret guest's words fell, many people showed shock again. The previous thunderstorm was like a divine punishment from an angry god, just looking at it made it seem like you couldn't breathe. As a result, some people now say that this is not the most violent, question mark. It's hard to imagine, what an exaggerated scene it would be. Dot. Stark building. Loki couldn't help but think of an idea at this moment. If Thor on my side was so fierce, I'm afraid I wouldn't have dared to think carefully back then. Not to mention turning to Thanos. Isn't it nice to hug your brother's thigh? In the end it would not be possible to make the current scene. I am afraid that he would be imprisoned in the Asgard cell as soon as the light curtain is over. For a moment, Loki had a feeling of understanding what Odin was like. Beside him, Tony at the moment had a complicated expression. The strength of this Thor is really too oppressive. If you are teammates with the opponent, I am afraid that you will feel huge amounts of pressure. But from another point of view, there are benefits. Although the Earth over there also has that commentage. But after all, the opponent only protects the dimension invasion, and doesn't care about the Chitauri alien invasion but Asgard's slogan is to protect the Nine Realms. In the event of an invasion, that Thor will definitely take action. And with the opponent's strength, the Avengers over the just need to be responsible for waving the flag and shouting behind, there is no need at all, there is no danger. Definitely. What he's most curious about at the moment is what Thor and that Ancient One's plans are. Add, why did Sorcerer Supreme die in the end? It is really incomprehensible. Dot. Holy place number two. Thanos suddenly felt a little rejoiced. Thor on his side is just a stupid fool. Can't see the so-called Thor at all. Nothing to worry about. It's not like the other side, who can't even see the strength. Even. He had a hunch that his other self would probably fail because of this. Exclamation mark. At this time, the light of the golden thunder dimmed, and the blue thunder lit up. Mai's town. Thor, who failed to lift the hammer, let out a heart-piercing cry of pain. At this moment, all his previous indifference, even luck disappeared without a trace. He finally understands. Not only God King Odin gave up on himself, Mjolnir also no longer recognizes him. He no longer has glory, is no longer Thor. Just a mortal who once looked down upon. Soon, Thor was brought back to the interrogation room of the SHIELD base. He said nothing, his eyebrows and eyes lowered outside the light curtain. This sudden transformation caused many viewers to feel a strong sense of tearing. One went to Earth to take care of his sister, and by the way, he also had a fight with Sorcerer Supreme. Not only did he not lose, but he also made some kind of deal. And this, not only was he really expelled, but now he was as pitiful as an abandoned big golden retriever. The difference, add, even Loki is too embarrassed to provoke Thor at this moment. The interrogation was fruitless. Phil Coulson left the interrogation room. And when he closed the door, Loki appeared in Thor's eyes. Then before he had time to apologize, he heard the news that Odin died. Quill, I remember this side of the Blue Thunder timeline. Odin isn't dead, is he? He was still talking in the chat room before. Kong Zhu, stupid mortal, don't you understand? This is a drama to compete for the position of God King. This Loki is not as harmless as the one seen before. Agatha, what's more interesting is, do you remember that the treasury of Asgard was invaded by the giants of Jotunheim at the beginning, and Lorf said that there were traitors in Asgard? 
plus who Evan seduced Thor to Jotunheim to be stripped of his powers. Now it seems that the answer is ready. Zeus, he he. Although it is the blood of the giants of Jotunheim, it is more like Odin, which is really interesting. Hela, well, I can only say that Thor is too stupid. At this time, Loki said helplessly that now he can only become the god king himself. Hearing this, Thor didn't make any noise this time, but shed tears and hoped that he could return to God's domain. However Loki stated that Jotunheim's truce was his exile. At the same time, the Queen of God doesn't want to see him again. So it is impossible to let him go back. Then, Thor believed it. At this moment, almost everyone was silenced. Believe it? Stop thinking about it? Chat room. Quill. That's outrageous. Whoever heard that his father had died because he had a fight with a neighbor, and then went far away, and finally believed it before his mother let him go home? Question mark. Kong Su, believe in Odin's sudden death. It's better to believe in Surti to blow up God's domain. Steve. Well, I can only say that Thor still trusts his brother too much. He is actually a relatively honest and good person. Tony, I said Captain, you should stop comforting me. This sounds a bit like a curse. Add, Steve. Ah, sorry, I mean Thor is actually not good at spotting lies. He's a little naive. Natasha Romanoff, Captain, don't talk about it. Let Thor go, Steve. However, something good happened soon. Thor lost his father and couldn't see his mother, but he gained a girlfriend. And he intends to live a good life with the other party on Earth. The other side. Loki took the eternal gun and went to Jotunheim, but he did not come to fight, but to tell the king of the giants of Jotunheim that Odin has fallen into a trance. This is when Asgard is weakest, he will help Lorf enter the realm of the gods to assassinate Odin. Then, Lorf believed it. He successfully entered Odin's sleeping palace with the help of Loki, but just when he was excited and wanted to take revenge and kill the other party, Loki fired the eternal gun behind him. Although it is not controlled by Odin, the power of this artifact can easily turn Lorf into a scum all over the place. Off screen, many people were silenced again. While Loki doesn't have a mutiny inversion, it's amazing indeed. But, the most amazing thing is another thing. Chat room, Quill. So, in fact, Loki is not a god of tricks at all. His priesthood is the enemy's wisdom, right? Question mark. 057 Kesilius, poor, Thor, add. Just as everyone was sighing at Loki's aura of reducing intelligence, a roar sounded. In the next second, the light of the golden thunder lights up again. Mai's town. Thor quickly returned to the vicinity of the hotel, but did not use divine power. Although Ancient One also put a spiritual spell on him, it can give feedback when Kesilius peeps at him in a mirror space. But if the magician comes over just in time for the flight, the plan will be equivalent to a failure. A few minutes later, Thor didn't go back to the residence directly, but observed it first. However, the previously unknown organization did not ambush him in the room. He originally thought that if someone was there, he would give up the item called mobile phone communication that Kesilius gave. One thing more is worse than one thing less, try to avoid taking action. After all, the latter will definitely not be able to resist coming to him again. However, since there was no ambush, he still chose to go back to the house and put the money and mobile phone he had exchanged in his pockets. After all, Midgard is not as good. He has to spend money to eat. But just as Thor was going downstairs, a black vehicle stopped right on the side of the street. The next second, two men in suits and sunglasses came out from inside. The one with the taller hairline suddenly showed surprise eyes when he saw Thor, and walked over and smiled. Hello, is this Mr. Donald Brad? Thor nodded, not forgetting his current identity. That's great. Phil Coulson took out an ID from his pocket and said, Hello, Mr. Breed, we are from the Homeland Strategic Defense Offensive and Logistics Support Agency. Now, what game? Add, Thor interrupts. Tony. Awesome! Exclamation mark Even the God of Wisdom cannot escape the law of being tortured by this name. Quill, it's really outrageous. This name is even more convoluted than the name of Yondu's scent or grammar. Who the hell came up with it? Hawkeye. Look, Chief, we should have changed our name a long time ago, and now even aliens can't pronounce it. Nick Fury. Phil Coulson shows a helpless smile. Actually, I have already suggested that the director should change his name. It's a pity that he is a one-eyed man, and he never listens to persuasion. Well. You just need to know that we are responsible for global security, and it is an official organization of the United Nations. Thor glanced at the certificate, handed it back and said, So what do you want me to do? He really doesn't understand. I just arrived in Midgard less than half a day ago. Why are so many people looking for me? It looks like it's in the Kingdom of Light. At this time Phil Coulson said what he meant. It's like this. Now we need a scholar who is proficient in Norse mythology. After checking, I just found out that you are traveling nearby. So... I want to hire you to interpret an item for a consultant. It happens to be nearby. Dot. Thor understood almost instantly that this was the group the Ancient One was talking about. He didn't expect that he was about to sneak in, and this group of people took the initiative to find them. It saves a lot of effort. Thor asked a few more questions, but Phil Coulson prevaricated them with a non-disclosure agreement. However, 
This is normal in the eyes of S-H-I-E-L-D. Thor showed a curious look at the right time, and finally chose to agree. Seeing the completion of Nick Fury's task, Phil Coulson smiled with mystery on his face. Trust me, Professor Brad, you will never be disappointed. You will definitely be pleasantly surprised when you see that thing. Add, then you might be disappointed. Maybe Mjolnir will be very pleasantly surprised. Thor said with anticipation. I hope you didn't lie to me. Soon, less than ten minutes later, the car stopped on the Gobi. Not far away is a simple temporary base. When he entered the core, he saw a silver grey hammer appearing in the crater. It's Mjolnir. At this moment, Phil Coulson was about to speak, when he suddenly saw that the hammer, which no one could move, seemed to tremble. He quickly took off his sunglasses and wiped his eyes, but when he looked again, he found that the hammer was still firmly there. I really should let the director arrange some easy work for me. Now not only my hair, but also my eyes are not working well. Phil Coulson sighed, and he didn't have the original intention to joke, and said directly. Professor Brad, take a look at the text on the hammer and see if you can translate it. Thor nodded, and at the same time, relying on his connection with Njona, he reassured the other party that he must stay where he is and never move. Then he walked over, looked carefully and then turned around and said, I have an impression, but I have to go back and check some information. Phil Coulson was overjoyed. This is definitely the best news today. Soon. S-H-I-E-L-D specially vacated a simple room for him. In addition to a single bed, there is also a high-level computer. Thor has never used this thing before, but as the god of wisdom, it shouldn't be too easy to get started. Time passed by, Phil Coulson did not rush. He understands the group of students, and if he has a bad temper and gives a wrong message, Nick Fury can send himself to Antarctica to raise penguins. And Thor waited quietly. He is waiting for someone. Finally, until the noon of the second day. The spell left by Ancient One reminded him that someone was watching him in the mirror space. Patience is too bad. After silently commenting, Thor waited for more than an hour before going out of the room, saying that he should have found the answer. Phil Coulson was overjoyed. According to his thinking, it is enough for the other party to decipher it within a week. I didn't expect it to be so fast. Come into the crater, Thor carefully looked at the text and said, Add, if I read correctly, the combination of these words means, anyone who lifts this hammer can control storms, thunder, and flames. As he spoke, he showed a shocked look and said, this seems to be the Mjolnir from the myth, that is, the hammer of thunder and flame. This dot 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 can I try again? Phil Coulson was shocked by the identity of the hammer, and didn't notice the word again in Thor's words. He nodded in agreement, and then hurried out. No one has been able to lift this thing so far, so he is not worried. Dot. In the mirror space, Kiesilius stood beside Thor, carefully watching the other's expression. It was apprehension, regret, and uneasiness all kinds of complex emotions. He can figure out why. According to Thor, it should have been tried once before, and then failed. At this time, he saw Thor take a deep breath, hold the handle of the hammer with both hands, and then all the muscles in his body pumped up. But until the veins on the opponent's forehead popped out and his mouth roared, the hammer was still firmly on the soil. After a full ten seconds, Thor fell to the ground in a daze. Seeing this, Kiesilius showed a sinister expression and laughed. T-S-K T-S-K. I was really abandoned, pitiful, and as the words fell, the chat room fell into a brief silence, until the next second, whale, someone got scammed again dot 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 poor, 058 mutation, add, chat room, Deadpool, it's too bad, someone has become a joker, but the big bat is not here, gamer, although I don't understand your words, this Kiesilius is really miserable, peeping through the mirrored space, I thought I saw the truth, but I didn't know that it was a play played by the other party for me, quill, I've seen what happened to this dude, the more he laughs now, the harder he cries later. Agatha, if only this is the case. I think the picture of Thor and Ancient One must be terrifying. Tony, why do you say that? Agatha, it's very simple. It's unbelievable that he chooses to act with a bug that can easily be crushed to death with such great strength. Dot. As soon as these words came out, the chat group fell silent instantly. And in Kamartage, Kiesilius felt a great fear. It was a cold that even the timeline could not block. Dot. Night. Thor is sitting alone in his room, looking haggard. At this moment, a golden portal suddenly appeared, and a figure walked out from it. Thor was startled for a moment, then said in surprise, How did you come? Kiesilius shows a gentle smile, Come here to see if you're used to it, but I didn't expect you to enter this S-H-I-E-L-D. Thor reveals a wry smile, Don't mention it, in fact, I just want to come and try to see if I can lift Mjolnir again. But the result dot 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 you understand, it's really whimsical, that's the seal of the king of God Odin, how could you lift it? Kiesilius sneered in his heart and comforted him with a smile, it doesn't matter, in fact, the earth dot 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 that is, midget in your mouth is actually very good, now that technology is developing rapidly, the quality of life should not be much worse than your ordinary as good, add, definitely, you are a prince, there should still be a gap, Thor shook his head, lost and said, don't mention this, 
I don't want to hear the name, pause, he squeezed out a forced smile, said, actually, this status is not bad now, as a consultant, those humans will pay me currency, maybe it's better to live as an ordinary person, Kiselius showed admiration and sighed, you still have a good attitude, a magician like me, even if I haven't seen the scenery of the peak, can't bear the ordinary boring, that's just too scary, after deliberately speaking, he glanced at Thor's expression indiscriminately, and sure enough, he saw that the other party lowered his head slightly, with a hint of resignation in his eyes. Although it is well hidden, he can be found now. Since you have already made a decision, I won't bother you. Speaking, Kiselius took out another transparent bead from his bosom and said, This is a defensive magic weapon, it can release a shield once broken. It's useless to me, but it should be a good thing for you who are now in a mortal body. Thor shows an embarrassed expression. But before he refused, he saw the other party put down the beads, then nodded and left from the portal. The next second, the golden sparks disappeared, and the expression on Thor's face became calm. Without the spell feedback of peeping in the mirror's space, he randomly picked up the bead, and looked at it with white light in his eyes. After a few seconds, he was a little surprised and said, The nature of this power dot 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 is him? It seems that Ancient One guessed wrong. But it doesn't matter, the plan doesn't need to be changed at all. S-H-I-E-L-D. Nick Fury pitied that Kiselius for a moment. It seems that every step of the way, but the result is led by the nose by Thor. I don't know what expression the other party will have when they know the truth. Add, or, in the end, they may die miserably without even knowing the truth. The next day, SHIELD's agents have obviously begun to increase, and the entire base has also begun to expand, and it is no longer as simple as it was at the beginning. Thor stays in his room board, waiting for Kiselius to take the bait. At this time, there is a knock on the door suddenly. After a few sounds, Phil Coulson pushed open the door, leaned out and said, Professor Brad, please go to the crater again. Thor nods, continuing to play his role. A few minutes after he came and went there, a capable woman with short hair, a moustache who looked a bit annoying, and a man with sharp eyes and a bow and arrow walked in. The man with the moustache came in and suddenly said, Professor Brad, right? I searched all the information on the internet, but I couldn't find the meaning of the words on the hammer. How did you know? At this moment, Phil Coulson, standing next to him, whispers, Don't mind, his character is like this and he talks like this with our chief. This time I came here only at the invitation of the director. Thor nodded, explaining calmly. Some knowledge is only recorded in inheritance and some ancient books. As for the person who thinks that the internet is omnipotent, I can only think that he may have a problem with his brain. The corner of Phil Coulson's mouth twitched when he heard this. Okay, what I said before is all in vain. And the capable woman showed some surprise when she heard this. Have a personality, I like you. Moustache nodded, not only was not angry but agreed with the words very much. Then he didn't ask again, but walked to the hammer, eager to try. Natasha Romanoff, would you like to try it first? Black Widow resisted the urge to roll his eyes, and said with a blank face, She's Stark, this time I mainly want to accompany you to try. I don't need it, and I can't lift it. According to Professor Brad's words, this hammer can only be recognized by people with noble souls. Add, hearing this, Tony shrugged, and impatiently stretched out his hand. Nick Fury told him that not only people, but even cranes can't lift the hammer. That's tearing up physics, even Newton's coffin can't hold it down. This is why he came here. As a scientist, he doesn't believe it! Exclamation mark. The next second, Tony's arms began to exert force. However, he was shocked to find that the hammer in his hand seemed to be weighed down by 10,000 catties, completely motionless! Exclamation mark. It turned out to be true! Exclamation mark. In an instant, Tony's eyes were full of shock and disbelief. There seems to be a collapse in my heart. But he didn't admit defeat. Instead. He grunted and continued to exert force, even his body was shaking. At this moment, the ground suddenly shook. In an instant, everyone except Thor showed surprised eyes. Tony is even more excited, moved. He immediately increased his strength, but found that the hammer still seemed to have taken root. Tony's expression froze, and he quickly said, It's not my reason. And at this moment, the ground shaking became more obvious. The next second, under everyone's shocking eyes, a ring of flames gradually appeared on the ground. There is a faint roar coming from inside. 059 Kiesilius, I serve a higher level power. Add, under the shocked eyes of everyone, the crimson flame ring collapsed inward. The next second, there is a chirping sound. The sandy ground turned into magma rapidly. In a blink of an eye, it seemed like a crater with a diameter of more than one meter appeared on the ground, bubbling and bubbling, emitting a smell of rotten eggs. Tony Stark had let go of his hand at this time, and retreated to Natasha Romanoff who drew his pistol and Hawkeye who bent his bow and knocked his arrow. However, not only was he not afraid, but he was also a little surprised. Could it be that I almost raised the hammer just now and offended the gods? Standing behind Thor glanced at the moustache indiscriminately, and felt that this man was a bit narcissistic... and had some brain problems. At this point Natasha Romanoff said, 
She Stark, I suggest you put on the armor first, and then come and talk nonsense. Tony didn't care. He stared at the magma that started to tumbling. It's okay, I've already notified Happy to bring it to me. Don't look at him fat, he still runs pretty fast. Besides, this place is even more exciting than the special effects of the movie. I can't bear to leave. Speaking, he turned his head, looked at Thor and asked curiously, What do you think? Professor Brad, feeling the faint sense of peeping from the spell, Thor frowned and said, My opinion is that there seems to be something coming out of it. Hearing this, Tony turned his head abruptly, and then saw a terrifying scene. I saw the magma began to tumbling violently, a scorched arm suddenly protruded from the inside, brought up a pool of hot magma, and then smashed to the ground. Made, what a hell, happy, run faster, Tony yelled at his watch, and stepped back quickly. But even so, he didn't run away, but stared at the scene that tore the three views in the distance. Bang bang bang. Natasha Romanoff has shot. But the bullet hit the arm, just like hitting a tough iron tree stump. It has no effect. At this time, with a bang, a monster like a scorched corpse jumped out of the magma. Its eyes are empty, burning with thick flames, staring at everyone with strong malice. Quill. F.K. What the hell is this? It makes my scalp tingle just looking at it. Deadpool. I already pissed. Steve. I feel evil. Tony. Does it even make sense? The Magician King. You are the Magician of Kamartage. Do you know what this is? Magician Wang, I haven't seen it at all. But it looks a bit like the evil spirit in the records. Modu, Pesilius is peeping in the mirror space. Maybe this is the monster he summoned in 370. Sif, HMPH. This person has bad intentions from the beginning, but now he can't help it anymore. Boom. A burst of fireball exploded on the monster. This is Hawkeye's special arrow. However, the explosion that can easily smash a wall has no effect at all except for dropping some coke from the monster's body. Walk. Phil Coulson made a command without any hesitation. This is the SHIELD base. Not only is there no shortage of large caliber weapons, but even more powerful gunpowder weapons. Exit a safe distance and use firepower to cover and attack that monster is the best choice. As his voice fell, everyone ran outside without any hesitation. But at this moment, the monster let out a roar. In an instant, a raging flame rose from the ground and completely surrounded everyone in an instant. The isolation barrier of polymer plastic was melted in an instant, and Happy, who happened to rush over with a box in his arms, was stunned when he saw this scene. Boss, are you offending the gods? I told you not to try that hammer, he shouted in horror. Tony ignored Natasha Romanoff's questioning look in the eyes of you just tell the secret to your subordinates like this, and shouted at Happy. Add, stop looking, throw me the battle armor. Next is your boss's glorious moment, watch me kill him. There is only a portable battle suit in the box. Weighing only twenty catties, the edge of the firewall, Happy threw it hard, and the red box easily passed the flame of more than three meters, and then fell towards Tony. Miss Secretary, you still have to read mine, Tony said excitedly. Not only was he not afraid of that monster at all, but he was eager to try it instead. Then, boom, a twisted fireball flits through the air, hitting the falling box precisely. Explode with a bang, clatter clatter. Fine parts scattered all over the floor, the golden mask rolled on the ground, and then fell with a snap right at Tony's feet frozen like a wax figure. At this time, there is the sound of Happy's makeup knife. It's over, boss. I brought this set of battle armor this time, you should let me throw it directly at the firewall. The battle armor is fireproof. Thank you for reminding me. Tony gritted his teeth and said, while quickly returning to the place where he should go, next to Black Widow. Outside the light curtain, Tony silently left his back to Loki. Although he said he was in a different timeline, but looking at the face that it was exactly the same as his own, he still felt too embarrassed and ashamed. In his opinion, this is stupid without knowing how many people are watching, it is no different from shitting on the street. Bang 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 bang. The monster walked towards everyone step by step, not paying attention to the bullets and various arrows that were attacking with a strong sense of oppression. The next second, when Thor was thinking about using the bead, he suddenly saw the woman named Natasha Romanoff move. Help me, Clint. Black Widow yelled and took out an unidentifiable object from his waist. Then she ran straight to face the monster. At this time, the monster opened its mouth and suddenly a hot flame burst out, rushing forward. Black Widow knelt down without any hesitation, bent his back backwards, and instantly pressed against the ground, sliding forward in the narrow gap between the flames and the ground. At the same time, Hawkeye, who cooperated with her tacitly, drew his bow and shot again. The arrow shaft was turned into ashes in the flames, but the special metal arrowhead was nailed into the monster's mouth. The spit flames go out immediately. Black Widow stood up and came to the monster at a faster speed than before, but she didn't attack. It's a somersault and at the same time, pull a transparent high-strength steel wire with both hands and it just strangles the monster's neck. Then she turned around and bent her knees against the monster's spine, exerting force on her hands and legs at the same time. However, this is a killing technique that can easily kill the enemy, but at the moment has no effect. First, the steel wire instantly turned into molten iron, 
and then a burst of flame burst from the monster, Black Widow was instantly knocked out, and fell to the ground unconsciously. Seeing this, Clint shoots arrows without any hesitation, and runs towards Black Widow for rescue. But the monster roared, and a fireball formed strangely in the air, flying towards him rapidly. Hawkeye's expression changed, and he rushed to the side without any hesitation. But although he avoided the front, the aftermath of the explosion sent him flying and fell back in front of several people. Then he spat out blood and passed out immediately. Looking at the tragic situation of Hawkeye under his feet, Tony couldn't help but turn pale and said, Does Phil Coulson, S-H-I-E-L-D have a non-staff pension? Maybe I can save some for Pepper. The corner of the latter's mouth twitched and said, Stop joking at this time, Mr. Stark. What do you have? Use it quickly. Tony is speechless. I'm just Iron Man not Santa Claus, look where I can fit combat equipment all over my body. Maid, if I can survive this time, I will definitely study a small armor that can be carried with me. Add, and at this moment, there are fireballs condensing in the air again, and this time more. The next second, the air trembled. The fireball gallops towards the people where Thor is. This time I'm really going to die. Tony's face was pale. He didn't expect that he would die so inexplicably. I'm really not reconciled. At this moment, Phil Coulson instinctively opened his arms towards Thor to block him but immediately he is blocked by a strong arm. Then I saw the other party slamming a bead to the ground. In an instant, he saw a wave-like barrier rising under his feet. Then the fire came, but there was no shock or loud noise. The fireball comparable to a bomb was blocked. Tony She Stark, who thought he was going to die, Ajaj, without a doubt, also froze when he saw this scene, muttering in his mouth, I don't know if it's too late to convert to God. Do I look like God? A faint voice came from behind. Tony woke up suddenly. He turned his head and said in shock, this dot 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 how did you do it? Thor's face is not very good looking, and he said, a friend gave me a self-defense item, but it can only be used once. 1. Tony's originally recovered face turned pale again. He swallowed his saliva and asked a little anxiously, how long can this thing last? He has already seen that ghost, and a long flame whip is condensed in his hand, coming towards them. And as his words fell, the water bubbles shattered to the ground with a bang. Phil Coulson turned his head and looked over, with a speechless death stare. Tony is also very embarrassed. How about such a coincidence? Dot. Mirror space. Kesilius quietly waits for the opportunity to enter the stage. Next, as long as my subordinates brutally kill those agents. When Thor is most desperate and most able to experience the fragility of losing his strength, he will descend from heaven to save his opponent. In this way, he believes that the plan will be successful by then. Dot. Inside the flame circle, the monster raised the flaming whip, and let out to ear-piercing laugh like glass rubbing. In the next second, throw it at the person with the tallest hairline. Thor's eyes, who can easily foresee the trajectory of the whip, flickered. In an instant, a thunderbolt erupted from Jonah, smashing the flame whip. Such a change caused both Tony and Phil Coulson to show shocked expressions, unable to understand why. But in the next second, their eyes widened. I saw that the hammer, which no one could lift, trembled for a while, then made a buzzing sound and flew into the hand of Black Widow who was unconscious on the ground. I must be dreaming. Tony muttered to himself, and slapped himself. In the mirror space, Kesilius was taken aback for a moment, thinking that it was the lightning summoned by Thor who regained his recognition. In that case, all previous efforts will be wasted. And when he saw that it was the mortal who got the hammer, he laughed out loud. Poor Thor, Mjolnir would rather choose a woman than you. It's so sad. At this moment, he is completely relieved. Add, and, if that's the case, you don't even need to appear on stage yourself. That's great. Dot. Inside the flame circle, Black Widow has woken up but is completely blinded. She didn't understand how she was able to hold the hammer. Although the wounds on her body were healed, she was even more terrified at the moment, because, she found that her body is completely out of her control. At the moment is like a puppet with silk strings tied to its body, allowing it to be manipulated by the terrifying power that invades its body. Dot. Behind Phil Coulson, Thor has disbelief, anger, and pain on his face. But there is no fluctuation in my heart. At the moment he easily manipulated this woman to stand up through Mjolnir. The next second, among the unbelievable eyes of Tony, Phil Coulson and the agents outside the flame circle, Black Widow leapt up with wanton electric arcs all over his body, holding a mythical weapon that shone with thunder, and slammed into the monster. Impossible. A roar emerges from the monster's mouth. The flames in its empty eye sockets trembled wildly, and when it pushed with both hands, a crimson pillar of fire spewed out immediately. However, Natasha Romanoff easily withstood the powerful pillar of fire that made the air bend, and then went upstream hitting the monster's head with a hammer. Accompanied by a violent roar, the monster instantly shattered, and all the instruments in the base exploded. The flame circle disappeared. But at this moment, everyone seems to be frozen, and the face is shocked. But what they don't know is that Black Widow is having unspeakable suffering at this moment. That incomprehensible force is too rough to manipulate. She felt that at the moment her right arm was completely strained, but it was repaired in the tingling electric current, 
which was very painful. The most important thing is, the danger has been resolved, why not return it to Qu In the dark, Thor glanced at the extinguished magma portal, and then stopped manipulating the woman with a thought. The latter's eyes suddenly went dark, and he passed out. For a moment, the entire base was in chaos. Dot. In the middle of the night, Thor made a phone call in the luxurious isolation room. The other side will connect soon. Hey, what can you do to find me so late? Prince Thor, I would like to ask you to ask if Sorcerer Supreme can join Kamartaj to learn secret arts. I'm sorry. The Ancient One magician has already issued an order that you are only allowed to live on the earth in an ordinary way, and you are absolutely not allowed to gain any power. I dot 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 I know. Thor finished the bending call and waited quietly. Sure enough, within ten seconds, the phone rang again. He waited for several breaths before pressing the button, and said in a very haggard and hoarse voice. Is there anything else? Kesilius' voice comes from the phone. Actually, I can help you gain new power, Thor immediately said in a voice with a hint of surprise, surprise, and anxiety. But, didn't you say that Sorcerer Supreme won't allow? No, the other end of the phone said coldly. The Ancient One committed a heinous crime, and I am actually serving a higher level power. O oh, six so project begins. Add, Kesilius' words fell like thunder. Chat room, Kong Su. The Ancient One is extremely evil, higher level power, TSK TSK, this Kesilius doesn't seem to be simple. Zeus, I want to know how that Ancient One committed such a crime that this mage was so resentful. TSK TSK, Ancient One magician, don't you justify your other self? Mod you, it's just what the traitor said, it must be a lie. You are called gods, but your minds don't seem to match. Looking at it now, it turns out that Sorcerer Supreme's decision back then was extremely correct. Ebony more, hee hee. This magician is really sharp, so do you see what kind of monster Kesilius' companion is? Can't recognize it? Apparently he did hug the other thigh. If so, what he said earlier may not necessarily be a lie. Magician Wang, so what if it's true? It's just another timeline. Ebony Moor, no no no. From the current point of view, apart from Thor and Liu Oji, the difference between the two worlds may not be much. And you might as well ask your Kesilius the, he suddenly didn't say a word after approaching Thor from his alter ego. Thought my years of experience. Kesilius. Fart. As a disciple of the Ancient One, I am definitely loyal to Kamartaj. The reason why I didn't speak just now was just to avoid suspicion. Don't slander me here, so discord. Certy, hee hee, someone got anxious before I finished speaking. Ebony more, TSK TSK, even the flame giant can see it, so I won't say much. Kesilius, Sorcerer Supreme has its own wisdom, you can't challenge it. Off screen, Tony looked at Loki and said, Do you think that what Ebony more said is true? Loki showed a weird smile and said, strange human being, don't you already know it in your heart? Tony said solemnly, his reaction was so strong that he directly believed in his heart that what Ebony Moore said later was extremely detrimental to him. In fact, he didn't say anything, and it would be better if he continued to remain silent. Loki laughed, yeah, even that stupid flame giant can see it. I'm afraid this person is under great pressure in his heart and is about to collapse. Tony sighs, I hope I'm overthinking. Higher level power, it really is him. Thor paused for a few seconds, pretended to be puzzled and said hoarsely, who is the higher level power you mentioned? Hearing the question, Kesilius' voice became a little frenzied, definitely is someone who can make you stronger. Believe me, as long as you choose to join us, your ability will definitely be stronger than your father Odin. He didn't say who was behind it, but said in a tempting tone, think about it, Thor. When you return to Asgard, supreme and invincible, let your mother be shocked, let your father look up to you, let them know that it was a mistake to expel you from God's domain. How beautiful that scene will be. And all this, my master can give it to you. Thor didn't speak for dozens of seconds, and finally said as if he had made up his mind. So, what price should I pay? Don't tell me no, there is no such thing as a free lunch. Suddenly there was a big laugh of approval on the phone. I just like talking to smart people. You are right, Thor. This world is so cruel, no one will give power for no reason, and there is no good for no reason. Comma, add, everything needs to be paid for, and we have only one request. That is, the next second. A vicious voice came from the phone. Kill the Ancient One. Boom. Like a thunderbolt sounded in his heart, King Magician's face turned pale outside the light curtain. Kill Sorcerer Supreme. He thought Kesilius just wanted to gain power, but he didn't expect that what he wanted to do was such a horrible thing. Doesn't he know what the consequences of that are? No. His face changed. He suddenly thought of a question. I'm afraid the other party did it just because he knew what the consequences would be. Crazy. It's crazy. At this moment, King Magician was extremely worried because... The reaction of Kesilius on his side just now is obviously not right. Now, just hope that the Ancient One magician can correct all this. Chatterum, Quill, I suddenly thought of a more terrifying thing. Deadpool, how to say? Quill, do you remember, when Ancient One found Thor, what was the first sentence? Gamera, yes dot 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 kill me. In an instant, many people outside the light curtain felt scalp tingling. Isolation room, Thor said in an unconcealably shocked voice, 
Ancient One is Sorcerer Supreme, are you crazy? Kazila snorted coldly on the phone. She is no longer worthy of this position. What she has done is more evil than anyone else. It is Kamataj. No. She is the biggest cancer on earth. Trust me, you're even doing the right thing in this one. Thor lowered his voice and said, even if what you said is true, I am just a mortal with no power, how can I kill Ancient One? No no no. Kiselius laughed. How could you be immortal as the Prince of Asgard? In this plan to kill Ancient One, you are the most critical person. Definitely, this matter is very risky, you can choose to refuse. I'm afraid if you refuse, it will be a corpse, right? Thor sneered in his heart, and at the same time showed the emotion of not being able to resist the temptation of breathing more and more heavily, until finally gritted his teeth. Then what is my reward? Satisfied voice suddenly came from the phone. Wise choice. As for the remuneration, we will pay some in advance. I'll go find you again. Dot. Three days later, the base has already begun to be dismantled. In a clear sky, a Quinjet descends from the sky. Soon, Thor, Black Widows, and Phil Coulson enter the cabin. As the fighter plane took off, Phil Coulson took out a tablet and gave it to Thor, and said at the same time, Professor Brad, this is the task for this time, take a look. After talking about the hairline crisis, the man glanced at Natasha Romanoff enviously, because the hammer that no one could lift was hanging on the other's waist. Whoever lifts it can control thunder, storm and flame, recalling the thunderstrike that night before. He felt that the other party might become the same as the god in the myth in the future. Look no further, Phil Coulson, it won't cure a raised hairline. Natasha Romanoff said blankly. Actually, she still wants to tell the other party that she can only pick up this thing, and she has no power other than this, and she can't control it, it's just a decoration. But it is a pity that this matter has now been classified as an 11th level secret by Nick Fury and only the other party can know. Add. Moreover, this action is also related to this. Phil Coulson listened with a sad face, and turned his head to look out the window. Thor also put down the tablet at this moment. According to intelligence, a valley in northern Europe has collapsed, revealing a relic. There is information about this hammer on it, and he, an expert, is needed to go with him. However, this is something he already knows, because this is just the beginning of the plan. Soon, after more than three hours of flight, the fighter plane landed in a valley not far away. A huge amount of mountain wall has been broken, revealing a huge amount of cave. However, it is not dark inside at the moment, it has already been illuminated by the equipment set up by SHIELD. Then an agent led the three of them into the cave. The purpose of the entry is murals and symbols everywhere, recording that a god once came to the earth, holding an artifact to summon flames and thunder to kill monsters that came from the void. Listening to Thor's explanation, Black Widow showed disappointment. What she wants to hear is how to control the hammer, not be controlled by the hammer. And at the moment when she lost her mind, she felt an itchy neck, and when she reached out to touch it, she felt an anesthetic needle. The transformation of the Red House made her not dizzy directly. She opened her eyelids and wanted to resist, but at almost the same moment, eight anesthesia needles hit her again. Only hearing a plop, Natasha Romanoff fell to the ground. Professor, stand behind me. Phil Coulson holds a pistol in both hands, with a gloomy face, staring at the entrance of the cave. He couldn't believe that someone dared to fight S-H-I-E-L-D. No, it should be the attention of hitting this hammer. Aren't you afraid that the anesthetic won't work? Most importantly, this is a secret operation of S-H-I-E-L-D. How could anyone know? And how those agents outside are guarding? Why there is no sound of fighting at all? At this time, another injection of anesthesia was shot from nowhere, and it was stuck on Phil Coulson's body. However, the dose of this dose is obviously much smaller, Phil Coulson is only weak all over, and has not passed out. The next second, a bald head walked in from outside, Phil Coulson said with a look of disbelief, sit well. The bald man raises his glasses and laughs, Phil Coulson, I didn't kill you just to see your face. Definitely, I will give you another chance, Phil Coulson said angrily, you betrayed S-H-I-E-L-D. Sit well shrugs, don't say it so harshly. It's actually you, snapped. Zero, ask for flowers. The scarlet blood plasma and the white brain are mixed together, as solemn as firework. Phil Coulson freezes again. What's the situation? What's the situation? Why did you die like this, sudden? Aren't you the mastermind behind this operation? Just when his brain crashed. At this time, there was also a burst of horrified shouts and dense gunshots outside. But all these disappeared in less than three seconds. For a moment, an unbelievable shock appeared on Phil Coulson's face. He knows what that means. Those SHIELD agent traitors were brutally killed. But how is it possible? He can't understand. They are a group of the world's most elite agents. At this moment, footsteps came from the entrance of the cave. A group of strange people dressed like monks walked in. The one at the head looked in his direction and asked. These ordinary people's weapons are really uncomfortable. Add, Thor, are you ready? As an eighth level agent of SHIELD. He immediately understood that the other party was not looking at him. But, Phil Coulson exhausted all his strength, turned his head away, tremblingly said, 
You dot dot your name is not Donald. That sounds so stupid. Thor finished speaking lightly, kicked the good old man on the neck, and the latter fainted immediately. Seeing this, he was a little dissatisfied. The current body is too weak, even kicking a human's neck constantly. Kesilius came over and laughed. It doesn't matter, you will get what you deserve right away, and become that powerful god again. Pauses and he sighs. Speaking of which, I have to thank you for your status, which is just right for the plan. Thor said lightly. Perhaps this is the guidance of fate. Kesilius nodded, then raised the pistol still in his hand, pointed it at Thor's chest and said again, So, are you ready? You, definitely. Thor said without hesitation. Boom. With a gunshot, blood flowed from Thor's chest, and his face turned pale. Kesilius comforted immediately. Don't worry, with the potion I gave you, you won't die, and you must be able to feel it yourself. Actually, if it weren't for the fear of being discovered by Ancient One, human blood packs are not bad. Now I can only make you suffer. Thor raised his hand to hold the wound, but it was actually a blood pack hidden in the inner lining and a bullet embedded in the skin. Then nodding, then it's up to you. Kesilius nodded, supported Thor against the wall, and opened the portal to leave. And the other magicians disappeared into the wall. Dot. Kamartage. Kesilius ran out of the portal in a panic, bumped into several people on the road and hurried into the supreme practice place. Seeing Ancient One, he immediately panicked. Something went wrong, your honor, Thor. Thor is going to die. If he really dies on Earth, I'm afraid Odin will go to war directly. Ancient One, who has always had a calm expression on his face, showed a sharp lightning for the first time. What happened? Kesilius immediately and quickly told the whole story of the incident, including Thor is unwilling to lose Mjolnir, and joins SHIELD as a consultant, and how the traitors within SHIELD designed a new Hammer Master intending to turn him into a living dead man so he might be able to pick up the hammer. At the end of the fierce battle between the two sides, Thor was shot in the heart. Although at the moment relied on the physique of the Ezra Protoss to account for the time, he did not die, but it was almost the Ancient One frowned the more he listened, and suddenly interrupted. How do you know all this? Kesilius looked puzzled, but finally gritted his teeth and admitted. Actually, I have disobeyed your orders these days and have been monitoring him in the mirror space. What I am afraid of is that he will do irrational things. 1. But I didn't expect that the accident would come so fast. My strength is low, and I can't stop bullets from the mirror space at all. Ancient One stood up immediately. Take me there, Thor must not die on Earth. Kesilius nodded and opened the portal directly. When Ancient One stepped into it, he saw the woman lying on the ground but still holding Jonah, and Thor who was leaning against the wall as if he had closed his eyes. She walked quickly and a golden magic circle appeared in the palm of her hand and sank into the opponent's chest. Thor shuddered, and opened his eyes. But the first sentence he spoke was not thank you, but, Ancient One Magician, this, this is a trap. 061 Behind the Scenes, The Death of Ancient One, Ad, Boom. As Thor's voice fell, there was a sound of a mirror shattering, and a sound like freezing ice. The next second, the cave trembles crazily. During the explosion of huge amounts of unknown power, huge amounts of cracks exploded from the ground and then spread rapidly in all directions. Boom 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 boom. Huge amounts of the mountain split directly at this moment, boulders tumbled and fell, and hot scarlet magma emerged from the cracks. In a blink of an eye, this place turned into a place of death. Ancient One has no nonsense, grabs Thor with one hand, and condenses the magic circle with one hand. However, the mirror space secret technique she is most familiar with has no response at this moment. At a critical moment, she had no choice but to twist Falion quickly. Suddenly, the pattern of the magic circle changed rapidly, and a seraphim shield made of golden magic circle lines appeared above the head, blocking all falling boulders. At the same time, Black Widow and Phil Coulson who passed out on the ground also survived. At this time, Kesilius' grin came from the sky. Don't bother, Ancient One. This is a special space projection specially prepared for you. It is no longer in the real dimension, don't even think about going out. Ancient One's expression didn't change when he heard this. He was still extremely calm, as if as long as Thor didn't die everything would be all right. The next second, she stomped her foot and tried again. In an instant, a huge force surged, the ground trembled, and a dazzling multi-dimensional shape-shifting appeared. However, in just one second, the ground is restored to its original state like going back in time. The powerful power that can change the space in the real world has failed at this moment, and at the moment, the change of terrain in the space has completely stopped. 880. The original valleys and lakes have long since disappeared replaced by an apocalyptic scene. There is no cloud in the sky, but it exudes iron-blooded red. There is no trace of green on the earth, only a few sporadic withered tree trunks. The soil has turned into a black rocky ground, and there are hundreds of magma lakes of large file size and small size on it. The dozen or so traitorous Kamartage magicians are standing in a magma pool, and the high temperature of thousands of degrees seems to have no effect on them at all. Outside the light curtain, countless people were shocked by this world-changing scene. Chatteram, Quill. This is too exaggerated, it's completely 
completely like another world. Baron Mordo, 838 universe, feel lucky, boy. This is the charm of the mysterious side. If it weren't for this light curtain, you would never be able to see the scene that shakes the mysteries of the world. Agatha, not to mention an ordinary person, even a 99% magician may not be able to see this kind of scene once in this life. Hogan, you're right, it's hard to imagine that this space can be created by manpower. It seems that because of Loki, I used to underestimate magicians. Magician Wang, I agree with your last sentence, but not necessarily the first one. I think this must have been prepared by Kiesilius in advance, not even a power that one person can unleash. Mordo. But even so, this Kiesilius is much stronger than we thought. It seems that the evil existence behind him has made a lot of money. Kiesilius has never felt that there is such a beautiful moment in any day. He looks at the Sorcerer Supreme in the distance and shouts with a grin, Ancient One, you didn't expect to have today. Ancient One's eyes are still so calm. It seems that the group of people in front of him are not traitors. Kiesilius, add. Your ambition devours your soul, and desire fills your body. Stop, or you will be swallowed by flames. Hearing this, Kiesilius suddenly became angry. The soul will only help my ambitions come true, but you gave me jealousy and desire. You are such a duplicity person, why do you have the right to say that about me? Over two thousand years of lifespan, as powerful as Odin with the gun of eternity. Do you dare to tell how you obtained it in front of the first prince of Asgard? Outside the light curtain, confusion appeared in Kong Su's eyes. He thought that Ancient One was relying on Time Gem to survive. But now it seems that at least the Sorcerer Supreme opposite is not. And the other party seems to have a big secret. He wanted to take this opportunity to ask tentatively, but then he extinguished this thought. If it weren't for the Time Gem, Ancient One wouldn't necessarily be weak. Better to wait and see now. But upon hearing Kiesilius' unwillingness, Ancient One showed pity in his eyes. The same thing. Not everyone can control it. You only see my strength, but you don't know what I paid for it. Hypocritical. Kiesilius shouted violently, and a flaming spear appeared in his hand. But the magicians behind him had a terrible mutation. Their bodies began to burn rapidly, and in a blink of an eye they turned into terrifying charred black corpses, with two flames floating in their empty eye sockets, staring at Ancient One. Many people outside the light curtain showed unexpected gazes. Inside the Stark mansion, Tony knew that the monster that attacked Thor and Black Widow before was Kiesilius behind the scenes. But I didn't expect that this thing turned out to be a living person. And looking at this posture, it seems that he can't turn back into an adult at all. He can only say that this is really a bunch of twisted lunatics. The world on the mysterious side is cool, but it's even more terrifying. Kill her, Kiesilius yelled angrily and threw the flaming spear violently. The flame magicians behind him immediately raised their hands high, making a whining sound from their mouths, and streams of black smoke wafted out. In an instant, the flaming spear like a javelin expanded rapidly. At the same time, more flames suddenly appeared around it, and in a blink of an eye it condensed into a huge amount of flame skull. Look from afar, I saw a seven-story flame skull, holding a flame spear more than ten meters away throwing it at a small hand with a strong sense of oppression. Ancient One didn't try to avoid it, because behind her there is still Thor barely alive. The next second, a golden circle with a diameter of several meters appeared in front of her and began to spin rapidly. Just when the flaming spear is about to strike, a huge translucent arm suddenly protruded from the golden vortex, and then punched it. Boom. The air shook violently, then the summoned arm retracted to the foreign dimension, and the flame skull collapsed in the collision. Kiesilius was not disappointed. He nodded slightly and immediately behind him a dozen flame magicians let out terrifying howls and charged towards the location of Ancient One. But just as they passed by Kiesilius, the latter suddenly gave a cruel smile. His hands suddenly burned, and he pushed them forward. Add. Suddenly a dozen flame chains erupted from the palm, like strange poisonous snakes, crossing the distance and penetrating the heart of every flame magician in the blink of an eye. Suddenly, a tragic cry echoed in this space, and all flame magicians twisted in pain. Give up your souls, lamb. Kiesilius sneers. Suddenly, transparent phantoms pierced by the chains broke away from the flame magician's body, and their bodies turned into ashes. In the next second, these souls are quickly soaked in scarlet blood, and then burn up violently, expanding rapidly. After a few breaths, more than a dozen skeletons with huge amounts of flame giant appeared. Seeing this, Kiesilius loosened the chain in his palm, and all the giants roared and rushed towards Ancient One. Ancient One definitely won't just wait for defense. She pressed her hands to the ground, and suddenly two scarlet fiery bossat thunders that exuded a destructive aura erupted. The extremely solid scorched black rock suddenly shattered, and two thunderbolts came to the feet of the first flame giant in the blink of an eye, and then changed direction instantly, piercing through the giant's feet and destroying the giant's body all the way up. However, although bossat's thunder is powerful, it still disappears after killing the flame giant. However, at the same time, 
The second secret technique has already flown out from Ancient One. It is a huge sword that is also burning with flames and is completely composed of golden magic circle lines. It roars and runs through the giant in the front without hindrance. Followed by several secret techniques, eight flame giants were killed in a row in just ten seconds. As for the rest of at the moment, the nearest giant is no more than fifty meters away from Ancient One. Seeing that Ancient One didn't continue to attack, she crossed her hands and threw it back, and a golden cloak appeared behind her. She floats up just want to take thought to extend the distance. But at this time, the flame giant changed. They all stayed in place, the flames on the surface of the body suddenly collapsed back into the body and turned blue, and then cracks appeared on the transparent surface, emitting an amazing burst of breath. Ancient One's expression changed upon seeing this. She glanced at the two ordinary people who passed out not far behind her, and immediately made up her mind. The cloak behind her disappeared in an instant, and I used all my strength to activate the Seraphim shield. However, it is different from before. This time there are more than a dozen sides, forming a huge amount of bowl-shaped enchantment and covering it down. At this very moment, the giant exploded. First, a dazzling flash of light flashed, and then huge amounts of fireballs rolled out, turning into a tsunami of flames and spreading in all directions. The ground is trembling crazily at this moment. The terrifying flame storm and shockwave flooded the enchantment in an instant. There is silence outside the light curtain. This terrible explosion, even through the light curtain, can feel the horror in it. In the floating spaceship, for the first time Quill felt his own smallness and fragility. In this terrifying flame storm, even if you wear a universal environmental suit, you will be instantly reduced to ashes. At this moment he finally understood. In the eyes of these real powerhouses, I am afraid that I am not even as good as an ant. Kamartage. Kisilius stared at the light curtain in disbelief. He couldn't understand why his other self was so powerful and could create such a terrifying self-destructing giant. More importantly, that kind of power, at first glance, is not an attribute of Dormammu of the Blackness. Why does the other self serve a terrifying existence? It took a few breaths before the flame storm stopped raging. Again, revealing the enchantment that has been fragmented. Add, outside the light curtain. Seeing this scene, King Magician was about to lament the power of Ancient One in the chat room excitedly. But in the next moment, his expression froze. And at this moment, it wasn't just him. Countless spectators showed shocking expressions. Crack, more than a dozen broken seraphim shields shattered and disintegrated into golden sparks and disappeared. The resistance was successful, but Ancient One remained solidified while supporting the shield. At this moment, her face was full of astonishment and bewilderment. I saw it behind her, Thor held the dagger, and it pierced through her chest at some point. For, why? At this moment, Ancient One's voice is extremely weak, full of incomprehensibility. And it was not Thor who answered her. In the distance, Kesilius let out a hysterical laugh, Ancient One, you won. Why do you think that I dare to ambush you when I know you are so powerful? Because I knew from the beginning that it is impossible to defeat you. My real whole card has always been our greatest good prince. Ha ha ha, how about it, Ancient One? How does it feel to be assassinated by a god? It must be very good. The long cherished wish has come true. At this moment Kesilius has a crazy expression on his face. He keeps laughing at Ancient One, venting his resentment heartily. At this moment, Thor retreated back. Ancient One fell to the ground immediately, blood began to spread from under his body. Kesilius raised his hand to create a portal, and walked out in front of Ancient One. 4.0 He looked down at this person who needs to look up every time, and said in the most vicious tone, Great Sorcerer Supreme, you can still live. The powerful weapon I of Agamotto can turn back time, and you can easily deal with fatal injuries on your body. But, as a time gemmer's Gideon, would you use it? Ah. I remember you said that the end result of playing with time is being played by time. Maybe you can demonstrate it to me. At this moment, Kesilius even forgot the master's request, expecting Ancient One to use the time gem. In that case, something more terrifying will happen to the other party in the future. However, he is doomed to be disappointed. Ancient One just looked at him in disappointment then completely lost breath. Kesilius kicked Ancient One's body away, venting his dissatisfaction. At this time, Thor clutched his chest and said, We have signed a contract. Now it's time for you to fulfill it. Early before the plan, the two had already signed a contract with mysterious power. Anyone who violates it, the soul will be reduced to ashes. Hearing Thor's words, Kesilius smiled and nodded, definitely no problem. But before that, I want to introduce you to my master. Aren't you always curious, who is mine for? Now I can tell you, his name, Mephisto. 062 The Vengeful Spirit, Add, Mephisto. As soon as the name of Hell Mephisto came out, countless people outside the light curtain felt their scalps go numb. Chatterum, Magician Wang. This. This is the Mephisto of the Hell Dimension. Modu, how is it possible? How could Kesilius be in contact with such an existence? Agatha, it seems that my previous guest was conservative. Secret guest, let me tell you why this space projection is so familiar. It seems that Mephisto has made a lot of money. Nick Fury, so, what are these Mephistos really spying on Earth? Magician Wang, your use of this word is inappropriate. They are not peeping. 
but want to swallow this planet completely. Tony, I still can't understand why they would do that. Outside the light curtain, at this moment, the hearts of all the Eternals living on Earth tense at the same time. In an instant, Sirs thought of a possibility. The celestial god group Tiamu, which has not been bred successfully, is in the core of the Earth, and this may be a temptation even for the Dimension Mephister. Definitely, this is just her guess. But whether it is true or not, they must stop it. Mephisto on another timeline took the initiative to attack, and the Lord of Hell here may not be idle either. Natasha Romanoff, maybe it's for the soul. Tony, there may be a part of the reason dot 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 but there are too many planets in the universe with life. How can this be explained? Magician Wang, no need to understand. Just know that you must protect the dimension of reality. It's a pity that the world over there is probably about to fall. Even this O9 Thor can't stop it. Hearing the name Mephisto, Thor's face darkens. You are really daring, you dare to make a deal with this big devil, you are not afraid that your soul will be eaten in the end. Kesilius laughs and shakes his head, no no no. That is the world's prejudice against our lord, the lord of hell is actually the fairest existence in the world. He will abide by every signed contract and will never betray. So please rest assured, Prince Thor, the master promises that your power will definitely be given to you, and will not tear up the contract. Thor clutched his chest, his face turned pale, and said, hope so, add. However, if the three holy places in Kamartaj are not destroyed, how do you get Mephisto to come? Kesilius is still half kneeling on the ground. Take out a dagger from his bosom, then laugh excitedly. Do you think this space projection is just to trap Ancient One? This is the projection of Hell, which can allow the Lord to descend part of the power, and then release this space, and naturally bypass to the holy place. Thor guesses, it seems that every Mephisto has a way to bring duplication to Earth. Kesilius nods, that's right but it doesn't make much sense for invading reality. Dimensional invasion still cannot bypass the three magic circles built on the Earth's energy nodes. And with Ancient One here, destruction is just a dream. As he spoke, Kesilius showed a fanatical expression, and said, But now everything is different. The Ancient One is dead, my lord will come to the Earth, and this will be his favorite back garden. Speaking, he pierced his chest with a dagger without any hesitation, and then dug it open bit by bit, revealing a beating heart. The next second, he has no hesitation at all and cuts off his heart with one knife. At this time, the flowing blood seemed to be alive on the scorched rocky ground. After a few breaths, the sacrificial offering made by the sun appears. Kesilius did not die, he moved forward and put his still beating heart in the middle of the pentagram, then retreated outside, knelt down on the ground again, and issued a pious call, with the blood of believers, beating heart, pious soul, sacrifice to my lord, please cross the border of hell, where you have descended. In an instant, the blood on the sacrificial circle burst into flames, and there was a chewing sound in the flames, until a few seconds later, the moment the sound disappeared, a bloody light shot into the sky. The next moment, an old man in a black suit, wearing a hat, and holding a staff of civilization came out from the inside. Quill, to be honest, I didn't expect the Lord of Hell to look like this. Eshor, looks like a nobleman. Baron Mordo, 838 Universe, don't be fooled by his appearance. The devil is best at deceiving people. You'll know how scary he looks when he eats your soul. Quill, no, I don't want to know for the rest of my life. Gamera, don't worry, your IQ has no chance. Quill, you're just jealous of me, man. Gamera, he he, I really look forward to the day I meet you. Add, Mephisto stepped out of the bloody light, then smiled and said, Ah, my most devout believer, the future ruler of the earth, Kesilius. One. How do you think I wear this outfit to pay tribute to Ancient One? It's not decent. He turned his head and glanced to confirm that it was really a corpse. Kesilius said frantically, You are still too kind, Ancient One is not worthy of your attention. Mephisto showed a satisfied smile, patted the servant's head like a reward, and then looked at Thor, the great prince of Asgard, the god of thunder, fire and wisdom with three gods in one. Thor middle. Odinson. Thanks to your help this time. The entire hell dimension will be grateful. Thor's eyes showed nervousness, and he said quickly, no need to talk about these dead pasts, I just want you to fulfill your promise now. Mephisto patted his head, embarrassedly said, I don't have a good memory. Don't mind, don't worry, the contract is like this, I won't renege on it. Speaking, he waved in the void with one hand, and suddenly a piece of parchment that looked very ancient appeared in midair. Kesilius who was kneeling on the ground widened his eyes when he saw this, and said in shock, this. Is this the spirit of vengeance? After speaking, his eyes showed envy and jealousy. Mephitos looks at Thor and laughs. How about it? This is one of the first batch of vengeful spirits on the ancient earth, not the batch of parallel imports from 6,000 years ago. As long as you write your name on it, the power in this ancient contract that can rival the ancient demons will be yours. Thor frowned. This does not comply with a previous contract. I should obtain this power directly. Hearing this, Mephisto made a move with one hand, and suddenly a ball of flames emerged, and a piece of parchment full of words appeared inside. He raised his hand turned out a magnifying glass, 
and looked very carefully line by line. After reading the last word, he looked back at Thor with a puzzled face and said, conforming to the contract, it does say how to give you strength, but it doesn't say how to get it, so you see, what I did is okay. Baron Mordo, 838 Universe, C. This is Mephisto's scam. Although he will not betray the contract, his contract will always have traps. Add, you just have to remember one thing, the devil is cunning and vicious, don't even talk. Off screen, Mephisto looks disdainful. The greed and desire of the human heart can be stopped by a word of advice. Even if the light curtain allows many beings to see him, he doesn't care too much. Thor's face becomes sullen, you are deceiving me. Mephisto, don't care about so many details. 903. I can give you what you want, isn't that enough? Thor's expression is cloudy. After a few seconds, Kesilius grasped the floating ancient parchment under Kesilius' jealous eyes. His hand is getting tighter and tighter, and it seems that he is becoming more and more unable to let go of this powerful force. A moment later, Thor suddenly said, How do I know that after signing the contract, the spirit of vengeance will become my strength? Mephisto suddenly smiled, That was twenty thousand years ago, but all the vengeful spirits were sealed in the parchment. So, be my knight, Thor. The mere nine worlds is too small for the universe and the position of God King is not worth mentioning. You should gain more power and step on your Odin. Thor is touching the parchment tightly. A few seconds later, he suddenly asked inexplicably, Is what Mephisto said true? Ancient One Magician. The next second, in Kesilius' bewildered eyes, a phantom glowing with blue light rose from Ancient One. She said lightly, The Lord of Hell did not lie this time. Thus, the golden thunder erupted from Thor's palm, and instantly turned into the rune of Dolun and sealed it on the parchment. 063 Thor. Is this your last whole card? Add, Chatterum, Quill, damn it, it's a scam. Magician Wang, this ancient one magician is revived, or, she wasn't dead at all. Baron Mordo, 838, it's not resurrection, ancient one is indeed dead. Now it's her astral body. Ebony Moor, this level of being completely like an entity. I didn't expect that someone could really cultivate the soul to such a degree. Agatha, I can only say that it is the Sorcerer Supreme. Kong Su, he he. It seems that Mephisto in a certain dimension will suffer a lot. Outside the light curtain, after Kong Su finished speaking, he yelled at the old bald and insidious. She knew how this old silver coin would die like this. I'm afraid everything was done to catch the big fish Mephisto. WWW, as good. Odin is not too surprised. The strength of the ancient one astral body. In his opinion, this may not be just the other party's calendaria. I'm afraid there is still a part that is bestowed by the eternal god. It can only be said that this kind of feeling of having someone on top is really good and there are many cards in the hole. Ancient One, Kesilius suddenly showed extremely shocking eyes, and the emotions in his mind exploded. But immediately he thought of something again, and looked at Thor angrily. Really, at the moment, the face of the other party is no longer weak, and the anger and other negative emotions in the eyes have all turned cold. You lied to me, he roared angrily. Thor puts away the ancient parchment sealed with the loony rune made by divine power, and at the same time, a blue portal appears just a shang step back. Take a step back and come to Ancient One. At this moment Thor looked at Kesilius and said, First, you are too stupid. Second, I didn't lie to you. Speaking, he looked at the gloomy Mephisto and said, If you don't kill Ancient One, why did the owner of your dog show up? If I'm not mistaken, I'm afraid the moment he took out the parchment is the real arrival. It should have been determining whether Ancient One is really dead. At this moment Mephisto suddenly laughed. What a nice young man. However, even so, you are too confident. One is in the state of the astral body. I'm afraid it doesn't even have half of the original strength. One is just a new god. How much power does Odin have? Perhaps, this space is your place of death. 1. Kesilius's confidence increased when he heard this, and he looked at the two people not far away with vicious eyes. But at this moment, Snort, sure enough, only part of the will and power descended. Thor snorted coldly, and Mjolna, which was held in Natasha Romanoff's hand, immediately flew out, emitting a fierce and dazzling thunder, and blasted towards a void. The next moment, a violent roar sounded. A red arm appeared in the thunder, and flew Mjolna with a punch. Thor easily catches the hammer that keeps emitting excitement, then looks at Kesilius and sneers, it looks like your master doesn't want you anymore. At this time, Kesilius realized that Mephitos around him turned into a pool of shadows and spread out, appearing at the place where Thor attacked just now. Obviously, Festo just planned to slip away. Add, Kesilius felt as if his brain had been hit by a hammer for a while. He finally realized that he is actually the stupidest person. Thor can lift Mjolna, and his divine power has not been sealed at all. Ancient One also knew that he was a traitor from the beginning to the end. All this is not only a game set up by the two, now Mephisto obviously has to abandon himself. I hate the look in your eyes, a slave should have the consciousness of a slave. Mephisto snorted coldly and snapped his fingers casually. For a moment, Kesilius screamed, and then his body was turned into ashes. His soul became angry and began to collide rapidly, just like what he did to his companion a few minutes ago. But at this time, 
A thunderclap sounded, a silver lightning flashed down from the sky instantly, directly tearing Kesilius's soul, and the flames dispersed immediately outside the light curtain. Kesilius's back was covered with cold sweat at this moment. He was envious of his other self who actually succeeded, but I didn't expect that when I turned my head, I was hit hard by the cold reality. Ants will always be ants. Not only can't turn over, but if you step out of the world where you don't lose to yourself, you will be smashed to pieces. Although summoning a bolt of lightning killed Kesilius's soul, Thor didn't even look in that direction. This kind of idiot is not worth remembering. At this moment, the space wolf trembles. Ancient one has been sold. The space that was obviously unshakable before, at this moment, formed a series of folds and protruded transparent spikes towards Mephisto. Ancient one. Mephisto let out a roar. His aging body suddenly swelled to two meters. His face was ferocious. His dark eyes glowed scarlet. His black hair danced wildly, and under his red skin were bulging muscles. Behind him is a bloody cloak. This is his real image. In an instant, a red flame ignited on his pitch black nails. He waved his arm, and the space spikes were shattered like real glass. Thor no longer hides when he sees this, and all his divine power explodes in an instant. Suddenly the golden armor in the thunder and flames is added to the body, and the flame cloak is extended. Ancient One made another move with one hand, and immediately two portals appeared at the same time. Phil Coulson and Natasha Romanoff immediately fell at her feet, and then a careful barrier protected them. For some reason, Black Widow woke up during the collision. Open your eyes, and your mind will be shocked. She sees the SHIELD advisor who used to look so haggard. At this moment, not only his face is stern, but he also holds the hammer in his hand that has controlled him, but at the moment is entwined with flames and thunder, like a god walking out of a myth. The shock made her unable to breathe and think. The next second, the ground trembled heavily, and she saw the other party attacking the distant monster like a belide. Boom. The arms of Mjolnir and Mephisto collided heavily, and a lot of electric arcs and flames shot out. Mephisto bared his fangs and grinned. Stupid as good people, didn't Odin tell you that my strength is unrivaled? As he spoke, he shouted angrily and suddenly a huge force pushed Mjolnir back little by little. Thor didn't panic at all, instead he snorted coldly. When you said this, did Ceterac know? Besides, I'm not alone. A blue light lit up behind Mephisto, and Ancient One slashed down heavily with the flame sword of Wysandi. Boom. The air trembled, a pair of pitch black wings popped out from behind Mephisto, while resisting the slash of the holy sword, it knocked Ancient One into the air. But at this moment, Thor, who was forced to retreat, exploded suddenly. Breaks of green light suddenly appeared and several Thors separated from him, some held lightning, and some turned into Vulcans. Add, up, down, left, right, all punch Mephisto at the same time. Mephisto was startled, his wings turned black, and he swept towards the attacking Thors. However, the imaginary resistance and resistance did not appear, and all duplications turned into divine power dissipated. This is phantom magic mixed with divine power, and because of this sweeping sweep with all his strength, Toss's body suddenly became slightly unbalanced. But that's enough in Thor's eyes. Dense golden lightning exploded from his body in an instant, bombarding Mephisto continuously. His eyes turned into flames. A round of shining sun rises from the crimson Jolna. The plasma flame burst out like the fusion on the surface of the sun, instantly submerging fighters who couldn't escape immediately. Boom. The violent explosion caused cracks to appear on the rocky ground, and the terrifying flame storm spread out. At this moment, the space is more like hell. Inside the barrier, Black Widow's face is pale. At this moment, she feels like a small boat in a storm, it will be destroyed any time. She can't imagine that this is actually a power controlled by humans, but it's more like a god. Chatterum. Tony, to be honest, I feel a little sympathetic to this lady's secretary, she earns tens of thousands of dollars a month, what kind of life is she playing? Quill, makes sense. Hawkeye, why do I feel that something is wrong? Natasha Romanoff, actually, maybe it's just because this Thor is too exaggerated. Tony colon dot 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 or you are more reasonable, Thor. The fierce flame storm is not as terrifying as the explosion center. After a few breaths, Black Widow saw that the flame had disappeared. The godlike existence in the distance stands in midair, while the monster is covered in black to flatten and fall to the ground. Do you die? But as soon as she had this idea, she saw the blue light light up. Ancient One pressed his hands on the ground, and a circle of huge amounts of circle began to expand rapidly. An astonishing roar came from under the magic circle. The next second, a ferocious dog head with a file size comparable to that of a basketball court opened its bloody mouth to break through the magic circle, and then closed it suddenly after devouring Mephisto. Laugh. The seal was not formed, and black smoke came out from the seven orifices of the dog's head, and the latter disappeared instantly with a scream. At this time, the black clouds in the sky instantly turned red. Dense fire crows fly out of the clouds and attack the black smoke. The scattered black smoke suddenly shrunk rapidly. Guo Fi Wang's eyes intact body reappeared. The corner of his mouth cracked at an exaggerated angle, and then let out a piercing scream. In an instant, the entire space began to vibrate. 
thousands of fire crows froze first, then turned into fireballs and exploded. The astral body of Ancient One is also affected, and it starts to flicker like a phantom. The devil already restrains the soul. Thor is not surprised. The majestic master of hell, even if he is not weakened in the dimension of hell, even if only a part of his will descends, he is absolutely strong. However, he is not weak either. Thor lets go, Mjolna disappears, and he turned into a thunderbolt and sank into the clouds. The next second, thunder rolls, and a terrifying and shocking scene appears. Golden thunderbolts in the clouds are connected together to form a picture of nothing. More exaggerated and huge amounts of faces. It overlooks the ground, as if watching ants. Boom. An unimaginable sound of thunder exploded. The whole space shook violently, Mephisto's scream was broken immediately, and Ancient One's soul immediately stabilized. She puts her hands together without any hesitation. Add. In an instant, a huge magic circle emitting blue light formed in the sky. At this time, the eyes of a huge face in the clouds light up like stars. In the next second, tens of thousands of golden thunderbolts burst out from inside. They passed through the magic circle, and then transformed into a 100 meter thick thunder column with a breath of silence that crashed down. Mephisto did not sit still. As early as the moment thunder appeared, his body erupted with amazing energy. A huge amounts of pitch black magic circle formed in midair, and then erupted into a bloody pillar of fire that distorted the space, piercing through the sky. In an instant, the strengthening divine thunder and the fire of hell collided together. Golden and red are constantly impacting and annihilating, and the space at the impact point even has cracks, which will be torn apart at any time. The shock of horror spreads out wave after wave, and the entire space is constantly shaking. However, at this time, a sudden change appeared. Another Mephito suddenly appeared behind Ancient One. The complexions of countless people outside the light curtain changed. Quill, what's going on? When did he pass by? Magician Wang, is it an illusion on the other side of the hellfire? Baron Mordo, 838 Universe, I understand. In fact, he has been preparing for this moment from the very beginning. Thor saw through the traces before, and was even deceived by Thor's phantom magic before, all on purpose. Lord of Hell. One of the powers you control is to manipulate illusions. And at the moment, Mephisto's palm raised flames, and then punched the soul. The blue seraphim shield instantly formed on the back of Ancient One, but was punched through by Mephisto, and then blasted on the back. At this moment, a meteor fell from the sky. Mephisto did not pursue the Ancient One whose soul was injured, and jumped to avoid the attack. Apostrophe vertical bar how about it? Thor stands up from the cracked ground and asks. A blue magic circle appeared in the palm of Ancient One sealing the burning flame on his body. Her face is pale, Lin Yuhao, and said, it's too bad, I can't move at all, and the rest may depend on you. After she finished speaking, her soul flickered, and she half kneeled on the ground all of a sudden. Rely on him. At this moment, Mephisto let out a ferocious laugh, and suddenly squeezed hard. In an instant, the dagger given by Kieselius on Thor's body suddenly exploded, and instantly turned into a black chain winding. Mephisto thrust his hands into the void in front of him and suddenly two giant palms appeared in midair. A chain extends from each finger, linking to Thor, like the thread on a puppet. The next second, bloody energy flows from Mephisto's body, spreading from the chain on the palm of a hand in the sky to Thor's body. Although at the moment needs all its strength to maintain the divine body of the invading Ezra Protoss, Mephisto has a relieved expression on his face. He looked at Ancient One and sneered, Stupid woman. Do you think I don't have any defenses? And you, Thor Odinson, isn't it okay to just be my knight honestly? and now I have to occupy my body. However, after he finished speaking, he realized that something was wrong, because Thor and Ancient One's faces were very calm. At this moment Thor said lightly, in other words, is this your last hole card? 064 defeat Mephisto! Exclamation mark. Add. Outside the light curtain, the Magician King originally saw the defeat of both Sorcerer Supreme and Thor and was already desperate, thinking that the timeline over there was hopeless. Hell has come to the world. All souls shall be Mephisto's playthings. But following Thor's words, he suddenly raised his heart again. Is there really a chance? Chat room. Sif. Well, I just couldn't breathe when I saw Thor locked up and cornered. Fandral, I knew I could always trust Thor. Agatha, maybe, but I see no hope at all. Ebony more. I feel like a bluff too. In this case, unless Odin appears, there will be no turnaround. Kansu, that's impossible. Heimdall can't see this kind of space. Tony, but he can ask for help from Kamartage. Don't the magicians there teleport? Magician Wang, no way. The magician must know the scene of the target location in his mind to successfully create the portal, otherwise he will not be able to open it. Baron Mordo, 838 Universe, it seems that it is still a dead end, Thor should be delaying time to find a way. President Loki, he he, it seems that Thor's strength is too strong and it is not a good thing. Just like Thor on our side, although he is a bit stupid, at least he won't cause trouble. Outside the light curtain. Many people felt heavy again after hearing these words. Inside the projection space of hell, hearing what Thor said, Mephisto was taken aback for a moment, then sneered, Yes, this is my whole card, 
Why are you still satisfied? I don't hesitate to let you and Ancient One seriously hurt me. Do you think I really do? I am here for this moment. Don't worry, I will use your divine body to personally slaughter Odin, and make him repent why you came to Earth to meet the idiot Ancient One. Thor ignored the little bit of infested blood on his body, and calmly said, You misunderstood, I mean, actually, I also kept my whole card. As his voice fell, a thunder suddenly sounded outside the light curtain. Everyone's eyes widened when they heard this familiar voice. Is this thunder? But how is it possible? Isn't Thor 197 locked? Impossible. Dot. Mephisto suddenly turned his head in disbelief, his pupils instantly shrinking to pinpoint size n. He actually saw the astonishing thunder erupting from the previous mortal, then he jumped up and punched Thor. The dark chains didn't shatter, but a large number of thunders swam on Thor's body, repelling bloody, and then sank into the body. Thus, a gap in the seal was opened. In an instant, the golden divine power that was more violent than before erupted from Thor. Mephisto's whole card instantly broke layer by layer because the huge palm in the air also disappeared in the spreading thunder. Impossible. She's just immortal. Falling short, Mephisto's eyes are scarlet, and he let out a frightening roar. Thor carried the fainted Natasha Romanoff and said lightly, she is definitely immortal. But what's interesting is that when I manipulated her to pick up Jonah, I found an interesting thing. Add, that means this woman is really qualified. So, I can stuff a ball of spare divine power in her body in advance, just to avoid accidents. It's a pity that you set your sights on Ancient One and me as soon as you came down, and underestimated the most ordinary mortals. It looks cautious, but it is extremely arrogant. Mephisto, you didn't deserve to lose. Thor's words excited countless people like the dawn of victory. It's really about to turn defeat into victory. Someone really wants to defeat Mephisto, even if it's only part of the will. Chatterum, Sif, sure enough, you can always trust Thor. Fandral, it's really surprising, I didn't expect him to prepare a backhand in advance. Certy, well, just luck. Hogan, it turns out that flame giant's mouth is also a weapon so hard. Loki, no, there's another surprise you didn't discover. Tony, are you saying Natasha Romanoff is qualified to lift Mjolna? Natasha Romanoff, impossible. How could an agent who was injured and stained with countless lives be eligible? Don't think about it. I guess Thor said it on purpose to make Mephisto's heart, Ajkd, collapse. In the chat room, no one refuted, because this is really unbelievable and unreasonable. But outside the light curtain, Thor shakes Mjolnir. But if it can't be lifted, then how does the other self put divine power into the opponent's body? Normal mortals can't do it at all. Hearing Thor's taunt, Fisto's eyes are gloomy. In the next second, thousands of duplications suddenly exploded from his body and flew in all directions. At the same time, the space began to vibrate, and the gates of hell were about to open one by one. This time, it's not a disguise. He really wants to run away. Thor casually threw the Black Widow to Ancient One, and said, Watch her and Phil Coulson. I'm going to start. He completely ignored what Ancient One said before that he could not use the secret technique, and then looked at the sky-filled city of Mephisto. Thousands of false bodies disappeared in an instant, leaving only six real bodies, which were crazily pulled by the shadow behind them. Although this level is useless for Mephisto, it successfully breaks the illusion. Thor stretched out his hand and shook it, and Mjolnir appeared immediately. The next second, six thunderbolts descend from the sky. Instead of attacking the six Mephisto instead of attacking the gates of hell, the node of the energy structure is destroyed in an instant, and the portal fails to be built. Failed to escape, the six Mephisto turned back at the same time, with anger flowing in their eyes. They said in unison, you are looking for your own death. The voice falls, and the six duplications reunite. With a roar, Fisto's body began to swell wildly. In the blink of an eye, a forehead with two horns, red flames burst out from both eyes, and an ancient Mephisto with a height of 1000 meters stands in this space. Seeing this, Thor not only showed no fear but showed excitement in his eyes. The next moment is like a time to compete with Ancient One. Thor's eyes burst into amazing golden light. The heart roars like a hammer. The divine power in the body begins to be squeezed crazily. The sky became extremely dark in the blink of an eye. Dense golden lightning descends from the sky. Add. But they are not bombarding Mephisto, but Thor himself. At the same time, a crimson crack is in the clouds. A waterfall of fire as thick as magma falls from the sky, drowning Thor. Thus, the space began to vibrate, a deity whose bones are thunder and flesh and blood rises from the infusion, looking at Mephister in front of him with a violent fighting spirit. Quill, so, this is Thor's real whole card. Magician Wang, it's too exaggerated, I can't stop trembling in my heart just by looking at it. President Loki, I apologize for what I said earlier, this Thor is a hundred times better than mine. Zeus, I didn't expect him to have developed the priesthood to such an extent. It's hard to imagine how much he would grow to if given another two thousand years. I guess Odin over there will probably wake up laughing from a dream. Certy, huh, it's just a show. Kong Su, why, I feel jealous and inferior after seeing this scene. As a flame giant, you don't even have one tenth of his might. Certy, that's because I lost the eternal fire. 
despicable Odin has kept him in the vaults of Asgard. I will get it back one day. Kong Su, he he, why bother? I'm afraid that even your head will become a collectible. Certy, I will go after the light curtain is over. Just wait and see. Kong Su, good. I'll wait. Outside the light curtain, Tony was speechless for a while. Is it okay to lie to a fool like this? He shook his head. It's better to watch Thor fight. At least there will be gains. With a sound of thunder, for glory! Exclamation mark. Following a deafening battle roar, the ancient god of flames surrounded by thunder blasted away. Boom. Two huge amounts of fists collide with each other suddenly. Deafening sonic explosions, magma splashes, and thunderous explosions. Mephisto let out a painful scream, and the surface of the retracted fist became black as charcoal. But at this time, the wings behind him, like bat wings, cut forward. The air suddenly made a terrifying sound. The left wing was held by the flame god, and the right wing was cut into the opponent's shoulder. However, the imagined damage did not appear. The flames in the wound of the flame god became more intense, and instead crazily burned the wings that had been cut into the shoulders, and at the same time golden thunderbolts crazily passed over. Mephisto suddenly raised his head under the pain, and then two bloody energy burst out in his eyes to attack. This is the pure energy of hell dimension. Not only can corrode the body, but the mind will also be polluted. But he was disappointed again. In the eyes of the flame god, a silver-white radiance burst out instantly, which completely offset the energy of hell. The next second, the flame giant pulled its wings, and at the same time raised its leg and bumped it with one knee. Mephisto raised his arms to resist. In addition to the burning pain, he was also instantly repelled by a huge amounts of power. The battle between the next two behemoths becomes unpretentious. Every punch and kick carries unimaginable power. Every collision will set off a strong wind and a deafening sonic boom. The ground also keeps showing huge amounts of cracks, shaking crazily. But as half an hour passed, Mephisto gradually fell into a disadvantage. One of the powerful characteristics of the Ezra Protoss is that they never get tired in battle. Add. At the same time, every bombardment of Thor also comes with fire and thunder damage. Although Mephisto can regenerate, the speed of repair is slower than the speed of injury. Ten minutes passed in the blink of an eye. After repelling Mephisto again, thunderbolts flowed on Thor, and then turned into loony runes representing strength and solidity. In an instant, the flames solidified instantly and a more powerful breath erupted from Thor. He grabbed Mephisto's wings, with a roar that shook the space. The two roots carried. He tore off Hellfire's wings just like that. Mephisto immediately let out dirty curses and screams. But the next second, a huge war armor built with Mjolna as the core crashed into his chest, and then endless thunder and flames erupted. In an instant, Mephisto huge amounts of body stiffened instantly. Then, like a broken porcelain puppet, Dense cracks spread wildly from the impact point of the Warhammer to the whole body. Finally collapsed. Outside the light curtain. There is only one thought left in Thor's mind at this moment. Too fierce. Too strong. I don't know when I will be able to do this. At this moment, he admitted that he was jealous. At this time, Ancient One's wrist suddenly reversed to green circle. All the wounds on her astral body disappeared, and the quick coagulation method of both hands. In an instant, a series of space barriers appeared in the void and began to compress rapidly finally form a palm file size crystal. Inside, there was a puff of black smoke colliding crazily, showing Mephisto's ferocious and mad face from time to time. Ancient One summoning crystal flew into his hand, and disappeared immediately after flipping his hand. Dark Dimension Dormammu is no surprise. He knew that this old silver coin definitely had someone behind it. But when he thinks that someone can be tricked by Ancient One like himself, his mood immediately improves. Although he estimates that Mephito's in the light curtain will descend. There is only a small part of the body. But that's enough for the opponent's flesh. I'm afraid it will be fast if he can recover at least a thousand years. In addition, I lost a vengeful spirit. Rounding up is equal to earning money. At this time, the flames and thunder disappeared in the sky, and Thor resumed his normal fall. He glanced lightly at the unscarred ancient road. Can I say that it's Sorcerer Supreme? I'm not surprised at all. Ancient One smiled gently. It mainly depends on the strength of Prince Thor. Otherwise I will die here completely. Thor didn't intend to get entangled in this point. It doesn't matter if the other party is telling the truth or lying. He just said lightly, it's time to honor your reward, Sorcerer Supreme. 065 deal. Add. Ancient One untied the enchantment covering Black Widow and Phil Coulson casually, and then said, Don't worry Prince Thor, Kamartaj is not a Mephisto without credit, and will keep his word. But before that, please allow me to deal with my body. Thor nodded, he just happened to see how the other party was resurrected. At this moment, the picture on the screen suddenly froze. That layer upon layer of mighty voices resounded. Trigger topic. Please guess what Ancient One will do. A. Use Eye of Agamotto to reverse time and revive. B. Destroy your own body exclamation mark. C. Use Y Sandy White Magic to repair the heart and wake up the coffee machine. D. Possesses a corpse. Maintains the pseudo-resurrection of the body with powerful dark dimensional energy. Respondents are randomly selected. After the selection, the answerers for this question are. Witch Agatha. Kiselius. Strange. 
199,999 universe, Magician King. Outside the light curtain, Pesilius was stunned for a moment, and then showed ecstasy. There is no doubt that the answer can only be that one. But at this time, someone answered before him. Ding. Which Agatha chooses the answer A. Reverse time resurrection. Pesilius breathed a sigh of relief and then a sneer appeared on his face. Sorcerer Supreme is the most restrained to use Eye of Agamotto, in order to capture Mephisto's last hidden will. The Ancient One used the time magic circle prepared in advance to reverse the injury, which was beyond his expectation. Resurrection, that would have an impact on reality. Ancient One will never do it. He has no hesitation to choose what he thinks is the correct answer. Ding. Kesilius chooses answer D. He is sure. First, he has discovered that the Ancient One draws on dark dimension energy. Second, Kamataj must have a powerful Sorcerer Supreme. Before there is no suitable successor who can protect the Earth, Ancient One cannot die. The combination of the two is definitely the answer D. As to whether it will be suspected, he has already thought about it. As long as there is a reward, I don't need to sacrifice to summon the Lord of the Dark Dimension in the future, and there will be no danger at all. And if Ancient One killed himself just because he knew about it, he thinks the other party should already know. On the opposite side, Mephisto, who is following him, can be found. He doesn't think that Dormammu's opponent has a hidden advantage. Chatterum, Modu. You are crazy Kesilius. Even in another timeline, the Sorcerer Supreme cannot use the energy of the Dark Dimension to keep alive. Magician King, Sorcerer Supreme will not use Time Gem. The most correct answer should be C. Why Shandy's white magic has all possibilities. Kesilius. You are confused. Ding. Magician Wang chooses answer C. Outside the light curtain, Strange opened his mouth. Add. Good guy, is this old Magician Wang blaming that Lius? Or is he mad at him? Say the correct answer and choose instantly. Why do you feel a little dark? He shook his head helplessly, so he had no choice but to choose the last one left by everyone. Ding. Strange chooses answer B. I heard that everyone was selected. Kesilius suddenly showed an excited expression. One of the rewards for answering the questions correctly before is to break the shackles of magic power, and the other is to return to the ancestors of the blood of the Colossus of Flowers. These are the perfect rewards for rewarders. And I am stronger than these two. I don't know how powerful the reward will be. After all the respondents have selected, the answers will be announced. The answer to this question is B. Destroy the body. Congratulations to Strange for the correct answer. Analysis reward. Analysis completed. Reward. Alien resistance. Note, you can resist any form of dream walking. Outside the light curtain, Kesilius' excited expression froze on his face, as if he was wearing a joker mask that always laughs. At this moment, he roared wildly in his heart. Why not see? Why not use dark dimension energy? Ancient one over there is a hypocrite too. Damn it. Slut. Chatterum. Magician Wang. This can't be B. It's not logical at all. Agatha. It really shouldn't be. Why not use that artifact of time? I can't understand it. Mod you. Because that may destroy the continuity of the reality dimension, or cause the user to break away from time, or even have a terrifying impact of neither life nor death. Collector, not necessarily, as long as you have the reality gem and the power gem, you might be able to pay the price. Mod you, even so, it should use white magic to restore vitality. Kamataj loses the Sorcerer Supreme, it's like as Godotin dies, Thor is expelled, Loki is king. Not only is there no deterrence, but there will also be a catastrophe. Outside the light curtain Loki blinked insulted, but think about it. It seems that there is some truth to him, at least that flame giant, if he knew that Odin and Thor were gone, he might come over overnight and stab him and then hold his dog's head and wait until the Ragnarok era. Tony, so answer B is unreasonable. Magician Wang, very unreasonable. Once the Ancient One Magician dies, those evils hidden in the dark will probably be ready to move. Baron Modu, 838 Universe, it is useless for you to speculate here the self-light of the Ancient One Magician may have seen a farther place. Agatha, the less likely it seems to be the correct answer, the more correct it is. Unexpectedly, someone took advantage of it. Strange, it's just luck. You don't need to pay attention to me, I'm just an ordinary person. Outside the light curtain, Agatha's eyes shimmered. Ordinary people, Humphrey, clumsy lie. The dream walking technique is a powerful spell unique to the Dark God book, which can invade the peers in the multi-universe, and the most suitable spell for this strange turned out to be the spell of dream walking. This doesn't look like an ordinary person at all. Even, she had a premonition. Add, this person may be related to the Dark God book, and if it was really an ordinary person, maybe he should kill him after the light curtain ends. After all. I am now the holder of a dark divine book. She doesn't allow any accidents about this book. Inside the space projection, Ancient One came to his body. Without a trace of nostalgia, she waved her hand lightly, and a blue magic appeared under the body of Yishi. The next second, golden flames were summoned from inside. In a blink of an eye, the magical fire from Emperor Yishan burned the corpse completely. Thor is a little surprised, Ancient One magician. Do you know what will happen if you do this? Ancient One smiled, as Gud invaded the earth? Thor said calmly. 
Ancient One Magician is joking, if you do this, Midget will probably be in trouble next time. From a certain point of view, it is also causing trouble for Asgard. I already regret working with you. Ancient One shook his head. 1. All the crises hidden under the surface of the water are the most dangerous. I just want to make them surface. Thor glanced at Ancient One faintly, as if seeing some hidden crystal. So, this is one of the purposes of your death? But you are not afraid of the next time Mephisto comes with full strength? Ancient One laughed and said, I wish he would do that, but unfortunately he doesn't dare. Not to mention that he is not the only demon lord in the Hell Dimension, there is also a magician in the border of Hell watching. After his full strength comes. I'm afraid he will be gone when he goes back home. What about the other dimension, Mephisto? Thor asked again. Ancient One said lightly, Prince Thor remember this, no Mephisto dares to leave his own dimension completely casually. Thor secretly remembered this sentence, and then said again, So, you will always keep this posture hidden? Ancient One shook his head, One, definitely not, my duty has ended, and the fate of the world is not up to me. Thor is a little confused, then what's the point of you doing that? and saying that Kamartaj has another powerful magician who can deal with the evil that's about to surface. Some ancient one raised the sling ring to create a portal while talking, and at the other end was an antique attic similar to a temple. Unconscious Natasha Romanoff and Phil Coulson levitate automatically, and the two step into Kamartaj one after the other. Ancient one gently raised his hand, motioning for Thor to sit down. Zero dot 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 seeking flowers. The teapot on the coffee table automatically produced spring water, and after a moment of boiling, she poured a cup for Thor herself. It tastes different from spirits. Thor put down the teacup. I don't know the name of this powerful magician, but it can make Sorcerer Supreme so relieved. Ancient One smiled. Actually, you know. I know. Thor thought of an answer in an instant, and his eyes suddenly became sharp. One. You mean Rocky? One of the rewards he agreed with Ancient One is to allow Liu Oji to study in Kamartage, and he doesn't know Liu Oji's character yet. Although this expulsion will definitely teach her a lesson. Add. But if you can persist for a few years, it will be great. Unless she or her mother is killed, the younger sister will change her temperament drastically. Otherwise Liu Oji's playful nature is like this, it will be good to grow up. And he thought about it in the first place. Under the protection of Sorcerer Supreme, Liu Oji grew up for hundreds of years and returned to Asgard just to assist her. Thor strikes unceremoniously, with all due respect, if you put the burden on Rocky, you might as well disband Kamartage now. Perhaps this can leave a good name. Ancient One shook his head. One, I don't worry about Princess Liu Oji. I'm not talking about her. Thor has a bad idea in his mind. Really? The next second, Ancient One showed a sincere smile and said sincerely, Prince Thor, I'm not talking about anyone else. Dot 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 it's you. Dot one, with your strength. It is too easy to deal with these evil people. Thor didn't expect this old fox to hit him with the abacus, and he didn't care about the high hat the other party said. His tone became cold and said, You don't think I will be threatened by this o-called invasion of Midgard? The nine realms become the eight realms, there is no difference to Asgard, and the world tree is just short of days. Ancient One did not refute the truth of this statement, but only persuaded. Think about it, Prince Thor. Originally, the agreement between you and me was that Liu agented Kamartage to study and I gave you four books of secret art and secrets, as well as some ancient secrets. But if you agree to this request, Kamartage's library is open to you. Thor was not tempted, he suddenly said, just to capture a small part of Mephisto's will, you pay so much. I originally thought you already had a backhand, but looking at it now, this can't explain your behavior. Kamartage handed over to Inisgard looks more like a joke. More than a thousand years ago, you didn't even agree with the Asgard garrison guarding the earth. Outside the light curtain, magician, nods in approval. This simply means that their hearts are on the line. Everything is so weird. And Baron Mordo of Universe 838 is even more confused. Although the timeline is different, since there is also a special strange over there, shouldn't the Sorcerer Supreme belong to the other party? Why do you do this? In the Dark Dimension, Dormammu is cursing shamelessly at this moment. He's 100% sure that the bitch Ancient One is definitely peeping into the future. Ancient One didn't explain, but said meaningfully, Thor, fate has changed so I need to change too. Similarly you are not Odin, you are more special than anyone else. Thor shook his head, still refusing. Ancient One sighed upon seeing this, if that's the case, let's settle for the next best thing. You help me represent Kamartage for five years and someone will take over the position of Sorcerer Supreme. Don't rush to refuse. Why don't you listen to my other rewards first? Ancient One glanced at the ancient parchment hidden in Thor's waist, and said, besides that you can still freely enter and exit Kamartage's library. I will also tell you how to gain the power of the vengeful spirit. Mephisto really wanted you to be his knight before, press down. This spirit of vengeance is indeed from the batch 20,000 years ago, and its power is extremely powerful. It's too wasteful to put it in the Asgard treasure house. Dot. Oh, 066 The Ancient One's Secret, Thor's King's Heart. Add. The tea room was quiet for a while, only the incense was left. A few minutes later, Thor said with a resolute voice, 
Not enough. I'm not the kind of idiot who will be tempted by power. You must at least give me some reason why I agree. Outside the light curtain, as Thor's resounding voice fell, countless people showed shocking eyes. The mysteries and mysteries brought by the supreme position. The mighty power of the vengeful spirit. How can someone really choose to refuse? How firm the heart is to resist the temptation? Essentially, Thor doesn't believe what the Ancient One said. These seem to be requests, but the returns are totally wrong. Not too little, but too much. Just like what he once said to Kesilius. He doesn't believe there is a free lunch in the world. Ancient One sighed upon hearing this, as expected of you. If you don't disclose any information, I will really die in vain. Pause. She waved one hand and a barrier fell down. At this time she said seriously, it's very simple, this is not my decision. Kesilius was originally the step I prepared for the next successor of Sorcerer Supreme, but he has changed because of your arrival. This period of history shouldn't be like this. Have you seen the future? Thor frowned, I'm not afraid of causing worse side effects. Ancient One reveals a wry smile, no, on the contrary, many futures have become blurred since you came to Earth. Also, that's not what I saw. Don't ask me why. I don't know either. Thor gets straight to the point, so whose decision is it? He didn't believe in 483 at first, or he didn't give in to everything and could only go on according to the arrangement of fate. So he doesn't care what he said on purpose. He is only curious about who gave the order to Ancient One. Ancient One looked at Thor's determined expression, and suddenly said, Do you know what magic is? Thor thought for a while and replied, Using power to move the rules under the world. In 838 Illuminati, Richard shook his head slightly. My own universe also has Kamartage whom he discussed with the dead strange. In his view, magic and magic are a science, just with a different set of rules. At this moment, Ancient One said, magic is the means of harnessing certain specific energies and extra-dimensional energies, using spells and phrases to simulate other powers, such as reality bending, mind control, and elemental attacks. 1. Definitely. The secret technique is more complicated. So do you know what the route of magic is? As soon as this remark came out, the countless magic side viewers outside the light curtain all pricked up their ears. No doubt, it will be an unimaginable secret. If it wasn't for the light curtain, they would never be qualified to know. Thor shakes his head. Asgard doesn't have much magic, and most of the witchcraft brought by his mother from the forest of witches is not suitable for him to learn. He has absolutely no idea about the root of magic. Ancient One's expression became serious. After taking a deep breath, he solemnly said in a reverent tone, The existence of magic is actually the result of the fifth universe. Add the fifth generation of eternal creation magic, weaving illusion into the structure of reality, and then extending it to the future multiverse. Chatteram. Quill. What a nuisance. Is this something I can hear? This is a secret that only Thor can know. Will I die as soon as the light curtain ends? Gamera, you're kind of self-aware. Baron Mordo, 838, I didn't expect this secret to appear in such a way. N so magic is also idealistic. Richard, it seems that my previous vision was too narrow. Magician Wang, I feel numb all over my body right now. Agatha, the point is. What does the fifth universe mean? Zeus, I advise everyone, if you can understand what this sentence means, keep your mouth shut. This is not my threat, but my advice. Gautanzun, indeed, if you don't know the secrets of your own level, it's best to keep them in your heart and not dig them up, or you might get angry. Outside the light curtain, Gautanzun, who had completely woke up, sighed because of that era. He also experienced it, Ancient One. So dot 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 you should understand who is above Kamartage, and you should also understand why what I said before. You can treat this as a gift. Thor didn't speak. But he understood completely. He sighs in his heart. Is it eternal? It's really an unexpected answer. However, all the gifts in fate have already marked their prices secretly. I don't know what this kind of existence needs him to do. In Thor's view, all this is just a transaction. A transaction from a higher existence. But he didn't worry or fear, on the contrary. He got more excited because of it. That is a kind of goal, it is a kind of ambition, it is. The supreme road of multiple levels. On the opposite side, Ancient One is still waiting to be restored. At this moment, she is not quite sure whether the other party will really agree. If not, she really has to stay in Kamartage for a few years, or drive a truck ahead of time to hit the surgeon. But then, how to find a new pedal? Dormammu is not a fool. Just when she didn't know how many years later, when her thoughts diverged for the first time, she suddenly woke up suddenly. She was awakened by a sense of war. When she saw the future king of Asgard, a real fighting spirit rose from her body, and the eyes seemed as deep as the universe. She saw Thor nodding his head slightly. His eyes were clearly looking at her, but he seemed to see through everything. A second later, a calm and firm voice sounded. I accept this matter, Quill. So, this is the heart of the brave, right? I definitely wouldn't dare to change it, Sif. No, this is not the heart of the brave. This is the fearlessness of the strong. The self-confidence of the king, Fandral, this is the glory of Isgard. Ronan, maybe it's the way to die. Fighting swords, HMPH. Death is death, but this is the real fighter, 
and only this kind of person has the opportunity to reach the supreme realm. Drax, Thor, man, Ronan, bitch, Groot, I dot am dot Groot. Rockets, Groot said he agrees with you. Outside the light curtain, Ronan's face was gloomy, staring at every name and remembering it in his heart. He will let these people understand what death is. At this time, the thunder sounded, the golden screen dimmed, and the blue returned. My's town. Three warriors of Asgard and Sif came to the earth with the help of Heimdall and told Thor the truth. At the same time, Loki has already manipulated the destroyer to chase after him. Thor regained the approval of Mjolnir when he was in desperate situation, and controlled the thunder to defeat the destroyer. Surti. Dot 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 is this destroyer Rama? Add. Ebony more. Flame giant looks unacceptable. Surti. Definitely. Back then when it beat. When it fought with it. It didn't only have this power. Hateful. If it can only release energy shocks, I was the one who took off his purchase in the first place. Zeus, it seems that there is indeed a problem. I remember that the whole body of the destroyer is made of Uru alloy. It can be said to be a treasure stronger than the Eternal Spear. Kong Su, he he, this is intriguing. At this time, Thor returned to Asgard with the help of Heimdall. He prevented Loki from trying to destroy Jotunheim directly with Bifrost but instead let Loki fall into the void of space. At the critical moment, Odin broke the divine sleep, rode an eight-legged Pegasus to arrive, and stretched out the eternal road to be caught by Lugai. However, Loki looked at his father's face, shed a tear, let go of his hand, and fell into the universe. Countless people outside the light curtain did not expect such an ending. Saker, Valkyrie Valkyrie took a sip of wine, with a strong mocking look on her face. Is this as good ruled by the god King Odin? It's another family ethics drama and it's the most correct way to stay away from it. At this time, thunder rang out, and the light curtain surrounded by golden thunder emerged. S-H-I-E-L-D. Natasha Romanoff and Phil Corson stood side by side, and in front of them was Nick Fury, who was as dark as a braised egg after listening to the report. Standing like this for a few minutes, Nick Fury said with a blank face, there are traitors in S-H-I-E-L-D. The hammer of God belongs to Donald Brad. He controls thunder and flames and fights the winged demons in hell. Also summoned lightning all over the sky and a group of flaming crows like the sun. Finally, there is a bald woman summoning a flame sword to slash people. Nick Fury opened his nostrils and said, Do you know that if another person said these words, I would have put him in a mental hospital long ago. It is said that Natasha Romanoff and Phil Corson both smiled wryly. But director, what I said is true. Natasha Romanoff said helplessly again. To be honest, now I think of that scene and feel extremely palpitating. It is not a battle that humans should have at all. Too powerful, too terrifying. Nick Fury couldn't help covering his forehead. Originally there are powerful aliens in this world, and Carol is already running away, which is enough for him to be in a state of distress. As a result, what necromancers, gods and hell demons have come out now. He has checked that valley in northern Europe a long time ago, and there is nothing but the corpses of traitors. But the one who reported this is Natasha Romanoff. It is absolutely impossible for the other party to lie to me. Did Donald Brad find it? He asked again. Phil Corson shakes his head. No, director. Also dot 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 he should be called Thor. I heard it before I fell into a coma. Thor. The god of thunder, fire and wisdom in Norse mythology. Nick Fury sits down, sighs. That's all for now. Positioning dot 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 top secret. Level dot 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 twelve. As for the serial number, let's call it dot 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 northern god. One dot. New York. A little girl from McDonald's didn't look up. She was holding a pen and was about to write on the receipt, her voice was weak, hello, what do you want? Coke is half price today, and chickpea curry burger is added, a glass of lime bitters, a piece of grilled goat steak, and a piece of snake tooth golden apple. A familiar voice came, and Jiz's eyes were instantly filled with water. She raised her head and saw Thor wearing ordinary human clothes, she couldn't help crying anymore, brother, have you been kicked out by the king of god too? I think he is old and confused, let's fight together, add. The entire burger shop fell silent for a moment, and all the diners looked at the crying girl, thinking about which mental hospital she escaped from. Thank you, no more, goodbye. Who silly boy is this, I really don't know him well. Thor has no expression on his face, and walks out without any hesitation. Liu Oji froze for a moment, quickly turned over the counter neatly, chased out the door and jumped directly onto Thor's back. Facing the gaze of a group of mortals on the street, Thor felt his face turn red for the first time. He hurriedly put down the petite Liu Oji with his hands back turned into a small circle in a swift motion, and then put it down. At this moment, Liu Oji finally calmed down, but she still held on to Thor's clothes and didn't let go. She said expectantly, since you were not expelled by your father, then did he change his mind and let you come to me? I already knew I was wrong. Thor shakes his head. Liu Oji suddenly becomes disappointed. Then why don't you stay with me for a few more days before leaving? I'll treat you to dinner. Thinking about her wallet, she changed her words. 1. Well, I invite you to eat KFC. That's better food than McDonald's. Thor speechless. Do you think I don't know what KFC is? The fat magician left by Ancient One excitedly took him to eat this stuff on the first day. 
At first he thought it was something rare and delicious, but he asked again because he had no money in his pocket. Looking at it now, my younger sister doesn't seem to be doing well. Looking at his eyes, Liu Oji immediately understood what Thor was thinking, and immediately frowned. Do you know how difficult it is for a black household to find this job? 5.0 Damn America! There was a BLCKMN trying to steal my money last night. Thor's expression darkened immediately, where is he? Loki shrugged. 1. I don't know, but I don't think he can afford to call an ambulance. Thor's mouth twitches. My worries are really unnecessary. Even if the power is sealed, after all, the fighting ability is there. He didn't want to keep it any longer, and said directly, although father still doesn't allow you to go back. I found a good place for you. That's what I paid a lot of money to let you pass. Liu Oji's eyes light up immediately. To rob a bank? Thor glanced at it, speechless. Go to Kamataj as a magician. Liu Oji's eyes showed clear stupidity. Magician, karma, Kamataj. The Kamataj who drove his further out of Midjad and was unkind to Asgard. After she realized where it was, she opened her mouth wide and was dumbfounded. After more than ten seconds, she closed her chin and said in disbelief, Brother, brother. Did you kill Sorcerer Supreme? 067 The Horror of Crossbones. The Shock of Black Widow. Add. Who is she? Rocky Odinson. If the Sorcerer Supreme called Ancient One is not out of his mind, he will never let an Asgard princess be the magician of Kamataj. This is not a question of whether to learn or not. I am not afraid that she will steal all the magic secrets back to Asgard. On Odin, she really can do it. Thor, don't make jokes, I've already participated. Liu Oji is upset after being surprised. Thor doesn't speak. He took out the sling ring from his waist and put it on his hand. Without any movement, a golden portal opened. He once again stepped into the side hall full of aloes, like Liu Oji carrying a chicken cub. Sit and wait. The king will send you the badge and clothes in a while. Don't be too ugly. As for the library, you are now forbidden to enter there. Thor finished speaking, returned to his seat and continued to read the magic book. Not letting Liu Oji enter the library is not a taboo. He intends to choose spells suitable for Liu Oji to teach her after reading all of them. Liu Oji stood the dumbfounded. Completely dazed. Is this really Kamataj? The most terrifying place of magic in the Nine Realms? She's sure that the teleportation spell just now obviously doesn't exist in Asgard. So dot 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 what did Thor pay to make that sorcerer supreme agree to learn spells by himself? At this moment, a slightly fat man entered the palace third holding clothes, tokens, worry rings and other items in both hands. He first took a look at Liu Oji and then respectfully said to Thor, Sorcerer Supreme, all items of Liu Oji magician are ready. And the moment his voice fell. Liu Oji suddenly widened her eyes and screamed, Oh Nine Thor, you really killed that Sorcerer Supreme. Magician King, to be honest, if I hadn't seen my other self named Thor Sorcerer Supreme with my own eyes, I wouldn't believe it even to death. Tony, this kind of picture is really joyful and shocking at the same time. Loki, who would have thought that Thor, a guy who didn't even know the 50 loony runes in Asgard, could be a magician in another timeline. And it's Sorcerer Supreme. President Loki, the vision is too small, come to the void. I will show you the frog Thor. Become a frog. Thor pointed with one hand, and a green light suddenly hit Liu Oji. The latter suddenly turned into a jasper-like frog and fell to the ground, croaking. Thor turned a blind eye to it, flipping through it casually, and a transparent glass jar appeared in his hand. He caught the jumping and fleeing frog very skillfully, then put it into the jar and put the lid on it. Add. The magician king looked confused. Whose sorcerer supreme and glass jar contract summoning spells? And why are you so proficient in twisting? Thor flicked his finger lightly, making the frog Liu Oji dizzy then put the jar on the table and said, remember to ask her to go to her room in six hours, and she should be more awake then. I'll go out first. The magician king suddenly said anxiously, my lord, if I have something to do, how can I find you? Thor suddenly showed a strange look, call me, are you so poor that you can't even afford a mobile phone? The magician king is suddenly struck by lightning. Dot. Thor walks into the Kamataj library with a calm face. There was no provocative idiot who jumped out with a face of dissatisfaction along the way and the magicians I met were all very polite and respectful. He quickly entered the depths of the library. The restricted area, for him, simple spells are useless, and those basic secret techniques, manipulation, and gestures are really too simple for him. After watching briefly for a while, Thor uses the portal to leave. For now, this is the most practical spell he feels is Kamataj, even Asgard can't compare. At night, in the sky of a bustling city, Thor stands quietly, looking down. Thor doesn't know where this is, he locates here based on a person's breath. The next thing, the other party can help him. Dot. You said, is the director targeting me? Shouldn't this kind of mission be done by combatants? Phil Coulson stroked his hairline and asked secretly to the woman beside him. Inside the dark warehouse, Natasha Romanoff lowered her voice and said, S-H-I-E-L-D has an inner ghost, not many people Nick Fury trusts most. In addition to his friend Alexander Pierce, I, Hill, you, Hawkeye, Sharon Carter, others are all suspects. You are so weak, 
At least by my side can protect you better than Clint, you say Hawkeye. Does he know? Phil Coulson raised his gun and whispered, I'm not weak, I was number one in the college shooting competition back then. Chatterham, Hawkeye, it seems that someday we will have to practice again. Natasha Romanoff, boring desire to win, definitely you still lose. Mobius, I think Black Widow is better. Tony, how do you know? Outside the light curtain, Mobius shrugged. Isn't this simple? Vomis Starball Black Widow is dead. The one who is alive is a bar does add, but he can only enjoy it in his heart. As a TVA employee, he cannot destroy the sacred timeline, although, now that thing is probably riddled with holes. In the dark, Natasha Romanoff said lightly, this kind of stealth mission, you'd better not use a gun. Assassination is the right choice. Actually, I fight. Also number one? That's not true. I'm the one in charge of being beaten. I mean I'm more resistant to beatings. Natasha Romanoff shook her head speechlessly and then found the 1225 HD area according to the information, found it, she whispered, then gently took the box down, according to the information given to him by Nick Fury, it contains the Hydra data that was once sealed, soon, with the help of high-tech gadgets, the very old-fashioned combination lock was cut, the next second, Black Widow opens the box, there is a click, in an instant, a faint blue light lit up, and an ultra-high frequency hertz sounded like a needle prick, Natasha Romanoff and Phil Coulson froze for a moment, then fell to the ground with two thuds, blue blood vessels constantly floating on their faces. The hearts of the two jumped wildly, knowing that they were in an ambush. At this time, as the sound of closing the gate sounds, incandescent lights are lit in the warehouse. At the same time footsteps sounded, a man sneered, the paralyzing weapon used by Stark Industry, although the government rejected it, we still produced it in S-H-I-E-L-D. Definitely, you outsiders don't know about it. As the footsteps approached, Natasha Romanoff saw a familiar person, and his eyes were filled with anger. Hawkeye. Crossbones turned out to be a traitor? Sit well, come on, I'm a traitor on the other side, and it's not the same timeline. Black Widows, exactly. Brock Rumlow, as long as you understand, I was taken aback just now. Pierce, don't doubt your teammates, it will only give the enemy a chance. You must know that every agent of SHIELD is carefully selected and is trustworthy. Outside the light, Nick Fury didn't speak in the chat room, but he still clearly remembered that Ebony Moore said that the two timelines are very similar except for Thor. Perhaps, I should ask the Skrulls to check S-H-I-E-L-D. Rumlow, wearing shielded earphones, looked down at the two of them, with condescending eyes in his eyes. A level 8 agent, a level 7 agent. T-S-K T-S-K, I still need to see your colors before today. I didn't expect that the upper echelons decided to kill you two at night. I thought I would have to wait a few more years. Hee <laughs> hee, don't you understand why I have complete control over your whereabouts, and I also know that you are looking for this lockbox. Unfortunately, I won't tell you. In contrast, I like to watch you die in despair. Suddenly, the happy crossbones frowned. Add, no no no, he said angrily, you two look wrong, what I want is despair, not shock. However, the eyes of the two people lying on the ground are still shocked. Crossbones suddenly rage, want to take out the dagger to bleed the arteries of both of them, let death come slowly, feel that kind of despair. But at this moment, he suddenly heard a faint voice behind him, although it may disturb your interest, what I want to say is that the two of them were probably shocked when they saw me. In an instant, all the anger of Crossbones disappeared completely, as if the scorching summer fell into the ice cave, feeling the terrifying and intense chill. Who is 757? When did you walk behind me? In panic, he wanted to throw the dagger backwards. As a top agent, his body can suppress fear and make movements without shape-shifting. However, he suddenly found himself unable to move at all. But from the perspective of Natasha Romanoff and Phil Coulson, I saw a more terrifying scene. They saw Romulo's shadow come alive, like a shadow from hell, with more than a dozen pitch black arms clung to him tightly. For a while, the other party looked more like a person possessed by an evil spirit. At this time Thor flicked his fingers, and an electric arc shattered the paralyzing device. Do you need to live? He said lightly. Phil Coulson got up excitedly and said incoherently, Donald teaches dot 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 no, no, God of the North, not right, you, your name is Thor, isn't it? Natasha Romanoff stepped on Phil Coulson's foot resisting the anxiety in her heart, Thor nodded, not caring about the attitude of the two. Seeing the nod, Natasha Romanoff took a deep breath. She clutched her throbbing chest, trembling uncontrollably, and asked her doubts since that day. Then, then dot 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 forgive my rudeness. Can I ask, what is the relationship between the thunder and flame in the Norse mythology legend, the god of wisdom and you? The shielded earphones only shield the high frequency HZ, and you can still hear people talking. At the moment Romulo heard Natasha Romanoff's questioning and immediately thought this woman was crazy, that hammer is just a mysterious item. But in the next second, he heard the terrifying existence behind him say lightly, that's me, oh six eight blue light and crimson power, add. When the voice fell flat, even as if it didn't seem to care, Natasha Romanoff and Phil Coulson felt dizzy. God, that kind of flame and thunder posture, like the existence that came out of the myth, 
is definitely a god. Kill the demons, the one who saves them is definitely god. And Crossbones, who knows some of the top secret information, is so frightened at this moment that he is about to lose his temper. He thought Nick Fury was out of his mind before, but this moment, his sixth sense, as well as Natasha Romanoff's expression, are telling himself, that's true. Crossbones wants to shout out, but his own shadow tightly covers his mouth. The pupils in his eyes have shrunk to the size of a pinpoint file, bloodshot all over, trembling crazily. At this moment, Phil Coulson swallowed nervously, and whispered to Natasha Romanoff, shall we kneel down? Thor moves his gaze slowly, the honest man's hairline is sweating, you are not the people of Asgard, you don't need to kneel to me. Does this person need to live? He asks again. I want to. Phil Coulson hurriedly said, the traitors in SHIELD are much more serious than we imagined. The actions of me and Natasha Romanoff should be top secret, only the director knows. So, your leader betrayed you? Thor asked casually. I heard that Phil Coulson and Natasha Romanoff were a little embarrassed. At this moment Thor suddenly looks back. A sound of hurried footsteps approaching, ten seconds later, at the far corner, a fully armed SHIELD agent appeared. Kill. The leading captain made an offensive gesture, and immediately a dozen team members cross-fired. Romulo could see this scene just in time, and suddenly cursed in his heart. This group of people just gave up on themselves like this. However, in the next second, a scene that he will never forget happened. An unimaginable flame storm was born out of thin air, attacking from their phoenix eyes. The world in his eyes, in just one second, there is only a monstrous sea of flames, which is constantly rolling and expanding. Then, after a breath, the flames disappear again not to mention the team of elite agents, even the entire huge amounts of warehouse, which occupies tens of thousands of square meters, has completely disappeared. On the ground, there is nothing but white ashes. If Crossbones was just fear before, then at this moment, his soul seemed to be burned to death by this terrifying flame, and his eyes became lifeless and dull. And at this moment, Phil Coulson and Natasha Romanoff understood one more thing at the same time. The power of the gods is not something that mortals can offend. Kong Zhu, it's really kind. If this is Anubis, I'm afraid his soul will be eaten. Ebony more, a group of ferocious ants think they can bite anything to death, but they don't know that a look is a disaster. Yondu, fearlessness is good. Ignorance is bliss. But ignorance plus fearlessness is the way to death. Quill, Yondu, don't mirror anything, don't think I don't know you're talking about me. Yondu, I'm just telling you again to be in awe of the power. Eshor, it's too late. He is angered sovereign and must die. Quill, you're golden shit. Bumpy. Eshaw almost exploded outside the light curtain. Add. When did such a thing come out of the Milky Way? I will definitely kill him. At this time. As the flames disappeared, the whole base sounded harsh sirens. Natasha Romanoff has vaguely seen several teams groping and approaching in the darkness. Her face instantly turned pale. Among these people, there are definitely people who are not traitors, and they are just guarding the base now. She just wanted to ask Thor for forgiveness, when she heard the other party say, it's noisy. With a loud thunder that seemed to burst in my heart. In an instant, a bucket thick lightning fell from the sky, hit the ground, and then spread wildly around like a spider web. Huge amounts of electromagnetic storms are generated, and all electronic equipment in the entire base flashes and sparks, either damaged or paralyzed. And those well-trained agents also feel great fear under the terrifying heavenly power at this moment. Stop attacking. Some yelled out in horror, some got weak on their feet and retreated back in a scrambling way. So Natasha Romanoff froze on the spot with her mouth open, didn't say a word, and watched everyone hurrah and retreated out again. It even looks a little funny. Thor doesn't care. He just took a step forward, and a golden portal appeared naturally. Outside the light curtain, Magician Wang rubbed his eyes fiercely, and found that he was right. His eyes were filled with astonishment. Chatteram, Magician Wang, I'm not the only one who saw it. It's useless for him to open the portal. Mordo. That dot 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 that's unreasonable. How did he do it without using the sling ring as a medium? Hawkeye, what do you mean? Is it difficult? Magician Wang, it's not a question of whether it's difficult or not. It's like a computer. If you don't power it on, it won't work. Tony, what? You have computers there. Mod you. Should I even tell you the Wi-Fi password? Tony, ah. Uh, well, it sure sounds unreasonable. Magician Kruger, Universe 199,999. No. That makes sense. It's just that it's hard to do. Thor just changed a kind of energy to power the computer. That is to say, he actually found a way to replace the function of the island ring. It stands to reason that Teacher Ancient One should know it too. Maybe the light curtain is over. You can ask her. Modu, are you also the magician of Kamartage? Kruger, I just came to the Earth to learn art hundreds of years ago, and the Ancient One magician was my teacher at that time. By the way, I also don't need the sling ring to use the teleport spell. But Thor has only learned this spell for three days which is somewhat exaggerated. Outside the light curtain, many magicians were suddenly speechless. Is this an exaggeration? This is simply outrageous. In contrast, it seems to say that other magicians are trash. The portal is closed. 
Phil Clawson and Natasha Romanoff found that this was an empty beach, and they couldn't help being shocked again by the moment they crossed the space. At this moment, Thor waved his hand, and the phantom manipulation was released. Add. But Crossbones not only didn't run away, but sat on the sand all of a sudden, unable to say a word. Natasha Romanoff glanced down, knowing that this person must have been scared off his guard. In a while, I will probably say whatever I ask. But now is obviously not the time to ask this, Phil Coulson said in a rather respectful tone at this time, thank you for saving me and Natasha Romanoff, I don't know what I can repay you. 1. As an 8th level agent of SHIELD, there must be a reason why he is definitely sober that the other party came here. However, he is not afraid. If it weren't for the other party, the two of them would have been completely cold just now. Thor showed a satisfied look, he likes smart people. I have been in your bureau for a few days and I know that you are very good at finding people. At this time, a golden mist emerged in the air, condensing into a head. Thor said again, this man is called Johnny Blazer, you just need to help me find his trace, don't try to communicate with him. You can find me as soon as you find it. Phil Coulson took a picture with his mobile phone, heavy nod, no problem. No matter how careful he is in hiding, he won't be able to escape the investigation. Although SHIELD is messing around right now, this matter still has to be the top priority. Thor nodded, with five fingers. One as good gold coin fell into his hand. He throws it casually to Natasha Romanoff, this is the reward. If you need any help, you can hold the gold coin and call my name in your heart, Thor Odinson. I will help you once, but only once. Phil Coulson and Natasha Romanoff suddenly had surprises in their eyes, one time is lucky enough. The promise from the gods is probably the best thing in this world. Don't make me wait too long. Thor said a word, then turned around and stepped into the portal to disappear. Ten minutes later. Phil Coulson calls Nick Fury. Director, are you the only one around now? He asked cautiously. Safe, Nick Fury said succinctly. Hearing this, Phil Coulson breathed a sigh of relief, and then said, Director, I have a very bad news and a very good news, you have to listen to that first. Suddenly there was an urgent voice on the phone, Natasha Romanoff is dead. Hearing this, the corner of Natasha Romanoff's mouth twitched, Phil Coulson hurriedly said, No, Nick Fury's tone suddenly relaxed, that's nothing. It doesn't matter if the mission fails, for now, as long as you don't die, nothing is bad news. 1. Vertical bar speak. Phil Coulson was moved, but he still opened his mouth and said, The bad news is we've figured out the insider in SHIELD. Well dot 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 that's a bit inaccurate. It should be said that we have figured out what organization SHIELD is in. Add. What do you mean? Nick Fury asked anxiously. Which means we're surrounded by Hydra, director. Phil Coulson speaks the horrific truth straight away. SHIELD should be renamed Snake and Shield. Even your friend director Alexander Pierce is Hydra. As soon as these words came out, the phone suddenly fell silent, leaving only a rough breath. A full ten seconds later, Nick Fury's hoarse voice came from over there. I take back what I just said, this is much worse than Natasha Romanoff dead. Pause. He asked again, what good news? Don't tell me. The good news is that I still have a few of you left. Isn't this good news? Phil Coulson honestly said. The good news is that the God has come to us. That night. Nick Fury launches a backup secret plan. He took away Captain America who was still sleeping, and forcibly revived him. That is, when Steve was awake, the Winter Soldier came. Dot. Thor doesn't care about the civil strife. While waiting for the news, he is learning the secret technique. However, this process is not very pleasant. In addition to the spells of the energy manipulation type, he discovered that Kamataj's many-dimensional magic is essentially a loan from the creator of the magic. For example, the Crimson Chain. The correct name should be Cetarac's Scarlet Chain. That is to borrow this spell from Mephista, the master of the Crimson Dimension, and, got good, Tarak. But if you borrow a piece of dimensional energy, it will not be just one piece when you return it, it will require more magic power. And some soul-type spells are more expensive. The light one will make the caster feel pain, and the nightmare will strike and the serious one will lose the soul and lose life. Definitely, energy manipulation, elemental magic, and some summoning magic are not included, but at the same time, the power and learning difficulty are almost geometrically multiplied, and human beings are not long-lived species, and they have limited learning in just a few decades. At this moment, Thor understood why the Sorcerer Supreme is so powerful, and the Magician below is so weak. However, he is not too worried about his sister. Liu Oji has a long lifespan, and she is equally powerful after learning slowly for hundreds of years. Thor has watched it for the past few days, and after thinking about it, he decided to practice the mirror space first. This spell is not just afraid of destroying the reality dimension and surveillance. In his opinion, this is a perfect spell with powerful attack and defense, as well as high plasticity and transformation, and at the same time does not need to pay the price to Mephista. At least until he finds the Mephista's dimensional energy method, this will be his most powerful spell. 
A few days later, Diao, Thor sits cross-legged in the holy place, surrounded by nine mirrors floating and swimming, which seems to imply a certain pattern. Suddenly, he suddenly opened his eyes. He feels the calling. At this moment, his eyes revealed white light, and he saw through space and nothingness through connections. I vaguely saw the powerful blue energy light and the ominous power of crimson. 069 Scarlet Witch out of control. Add, Chatram, Quill. This is a lucky gold coin from the gods. It's only been a few days, so it's just used. Natasha Romanoff, no hopeless scene. Another one I probably wouldn't choose to use. Hawkeye, however. The captain has already woken up, and the director is also sure to follow up. Even if it falls into decline, it shouldn't be like this. King Magician, I seem to feel an ominous atmosphere. Hill. There is no doubt that Hydra on the opposite side is more terrifying than imagined. It's hard to imagine how they've been living in S-H-I-E-L-D. Obviously they have been completely destroyed back then. This is completely unreasonable. Tony. So, Nick Fury, do you think the S-H-I-E-L-D of our world is really the S-H-I-E-L-D? Nick Fury. Don't worry too much, S-H-I-E-L-D is definitely within my control. Outside the light curtain. Although he answered this in the chat room, his face was as gloomy as water. After knowing that Pierce from another world is Hydra, he feels that the timeline here is also extremely bad. The other party has the ability to cover up everything, so that he, the bureau chief, cannot find out. If at the moment had been lucky, he wouldn't be Nick Fury. But he still can't figure out what exactly Hydra has to force another S-H-I-E-L-D to use that gold coin. He was vaguely uneasy. After all, I don't have such a powerful Thor on my side. Two hours ago, Siberia, this matter has entered winter, and the forest has long been covered by heavy snow, and at the vent of an underground fortress. Three people wearing white auspicious suits appeared. Soon, after a flash of incandescent flames, Black Widow used a one-time high-temperature reaction agent to fuse the iron net in the ventilation area. Seeing this, Captain America gently put it down, and then said, according to Nick Fury, Tesseract is here. Hydro has fallen into decline. This thing may be their last hope for a comeback. They must not be allowed to succeed. Remember, the fate of the world rests on our shoulders. Hearing that Black Widow is expressionless, the corner of Hawkeye's mouth twitches, Captain. Thank you for your pre-war mobilization. So can we go in now? Captain America suddenly showed embarrassment. He just woke up for a few days, and he still couldn't forget his old habits. Soon, the three followed the ventilation duct, disarmed the alarm facilities inside, and came all the way to a training room. Ten minutes later, the three of them, relying on their powerful skills 733, made their way to the depths of the base and entered the test area without any risk. And the tragic situation here made the three of them a little shocked. There are no guards here at all. The isolation rooms along the way are all terrifying experimental subjects. There are dead bodies that look like aliens. There is a human being with a tube inserted into his body. His face is blue, and he looks like he can't move. There is also red flesh and blood soaked in the biochemical pool without even skin. More are controlled by the whole body, and blue energy is constantly sent into these people's bodies through crystal-like channels. They rolled their eyes and twitched non-stop. Soon, the three of them came to the end of the test area. This is a huge circular hall with a full thousands of square meters and a height of more than 10 meters. Add, there are more than a dozen huge converters with many exposed wires on the wall. They form a circle, and in the middle is a fixed instrument, a red-haired woman in a helmet who keeps screaming cough. And this time the target tesseract is in midair. It is surrounded by various transistor channels, linking those converters. In front of the girl, a strange man with smudged clothes and huge goggles made a strange electronic synthesis sound at the moment. Come on, wonder. It was proved back then that using cosmic magic to make weapons is a wrong way, except that the power looks a little bigger, but the effect caused by a bullet is actually not much different. And you also proved that my thinking is right. The energy of Tesseract is so special, it must be stronger than Steve Rogers when used to transform human warriors. Wonder, hold on, you are not those trash, you can evolve. Think about your brother, if you can't hold on. I will execute him. But at this moment, the pitch black hole touched the back of his head. Turn off the power of Tesseract. Hydra, you have lost. Black Widow pointed a pistol at the weirdo and said coldly. If she didn't see the switch, she would have already fired. But facing the threat, the weirdo let out a piercing laugh. Instead, Black Widow's, Hawkeye dot 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 ah, isn't this my old friend? The head of the weirdo turned 180 sharply, and huge amounts of two digital humanoid images appeared on the goggles. Long time no see. Doctor, still remember me? Black Widow looked at one side, without any hesitation, immediately made a cross and wanted to subdue the opponent. But as soon as her legs clamped the enemy's neck, she found that she seemed to be clamped on stiff steel. The next second, she was grabbed by a huge force and thrown back directly. Boom. Black Widow showed an unbelievable look, looking at the white coat that fell a little bit. Steel armor? At this moment, Steve finally recognized who was opposite. He was shocked. Are you dot 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 Dr. Zola? Smiling face on weird goggles. What a nostalgic title. Hawkeye retorts immediately, 
pretending to be a ghost. Zola has been dead for decades, there must be another person under the armor. The weirdo laughed loudly, no, 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 this is not armor, it's just a carrier of my data. Speaking of which, I would also like to thank She Stark, he is the inspiration for me. Captain America's face reveals a look of surprise, so you are behind Hydra. Two red X's appear on Zola's goggles, I am not the master of Hydra. Actually, there is no difference between Hydra and S-H-I-E-L-D to me, only the experiment is the most important. Captain America shakes his head, I won't let you succeed. Speaking, he threw the shield towards Zola without any hesitation. The battle begins again. Zola's mechanical body is not as good as she Stark's armor. Under the joint efforts of Captain America, Black Widow and Hawkeye, it was quickly dismantled to pieces, leaving only a head. Quill, I thought it would be so powerful, but that's it. Tony, although it is not as good as my armor, but this upload consciousness is really interesting. Add, Natasha Romanoff, so are you sure that's still you? Tony, I didn't expect you to be so philosophical, why don't you come back and continue to be my secretary? Natasha Romanoff, Natasha Romanoff, maybe I can ask Miss Pepper? Tony, well dot 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 do you think that since the captain and the others have succeeded, why would they still use that gold coin? Quill, don't go on about the secretary, I love hearing that. Steve, apparently, Zola had a second hand, and they were too careless. Outside the light curtain, Tony nodded silently. Captain is still a good guy. Captain, your shield is really good. Hawkeye said with a smile. The mission is completed, and he feels much more relaxed. Captain America smiled, and was about to be humble when he heard a sound like a jam came from Zolo's head. Experiment. Destroy dot 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 destroy. Refuse to start. Overload. In an instant, a certain command was issued, and the Tesseract in midair suddenly burst into a strong light. In an instant, a huge amount of energy visible to the naked eye is input into the woman through the converter. Ah, Wanda suddenly made a shrill and painful sound, her long red hair danced wildly upwards, and she could see streaks of blue energy crazily strewn under her skin. Captain America throws out the shield to cut off those transistor channels. Ajd. In fact, he also succeeded, at least half of the crystal wrapped in Tesseract was broken. But accidents also happened. The blue energy lightning burst out from the torn hole and it fell directly on Wanda. The screams disappeared in an instant. Wanda's mouth, eyes, and whole body suddenly burst into dazzling light, and with the infusion of Tesseract energy at the same time, the light began to change color little by little. Captain America's face turned pale. He didn't expect that his blow would actually make the situation worse. The next second, he rushed towards the woman without any hesitation, trying to forcefully pull her off the instrument. However, before he could get close, he saw that the light on the opponent's body quickly turned into a scarlet color and a terrifying aura emerged from the opponent's body. Boom. Powerful crimson energy erupts from Wanda and spreads around like a storm. All walls, metal instruments, and soil along the way were torn apart. Steve roared in the storm, using his shield and his body to protect the curled up Hawkeye and Black Widow, until a few seconds later, the storm ended, and a large open air crater close to a kilometer appeared, and it was not at all obvious that there was a huge amount of base here. Surprisingly, Captain America not only survived, but also managed to protect Hawkeye and Black Widow. However, he also reached the limit at the moment, and when he fell down weakly, he was supported by Hawkeye. Tony, Cap, are you sure you got the Super Soldier Serum, not the Hulk Serum? Steve, maybe the other one is more special? I can't even stop a bullet, let alone a storm like this. Fighting swords, not necessarily. I see the power of will. It's hard to imagine that such an ordinary body has such qualities. Ebony more, psychokinesis? I don't see it. Fighting swords, ignorance. I mean true unyielding will. That's more power. Outside the light curtain. Many people frowned when they heard this. The words of sword fighting sounded too magical. How can will be about power? Captain America successfully rescued the two, but neither Black Widow nor Hawkeye had the joy of surviving after the catastrophe. Add, because in the sky of at the moment, the woman with red hair was dancing wildly, with a red light and a frightening aura exuding from her body. There is a blue tesseract floating around. And what's even more terrifying, at the moment, the other party's eyes are dark looking at them with empty and terrifying eyes. Chatterum, Quill, it's numb, what is this woman transformed into? Why, why do I feel like watching the previous Mephisto? Rocket, it's really scary. Looking at those eyes, I feel as if my soul will be drawn into them. Steve, strange, Tesseract shouldn't have this effect. Magician Wang, impossible, why is this happening? Tony, what's impossible? What did you find? Magician Wang, all that appears on this woman is magical energy. This is unreasonable, this is unreasonable. Outside the light curtain. As soon as these words came out, countless people showed shocking eyes, among them, the witch Agatha reacted even more intensely, because, she has recognized it, it's not just magical energy, rather, the origin magic power recorded in the Dark God book, which only Scarlet Witch has, the completely irrational Wanda tilted her head and looked down at the three humans below, and muttered instinctively, life, soul, damn it all, as a shrill and distorted voice emerged from Wanda's mouth, 
Five red energy balls instantly appeared behind her and blasted downward. I can't escape at all. Dodge. Each energy ball is almost the size of a truck head, exuding a terrifying aura of silence, sealing off all directions. Steve, who still hasn't passed out, looks at this scene with despairing eyes. He didn't have the strength to stop it once. Even if he has the strength to block it, he may not be able to succeed. He feels the desire to die. At this moment, Steve saw Natasha Romanoff reaching for the tactical pocket and taking out a gold coin with a look of reluctance. Is it a precious thing? But in this kind of attack, nothing will be left. Pity. But in the next moment, he saw Natasha Romanoff throwing the gold coin towards the red energy ball. What is this doing? Before he could react, he saw a scene that he would never forget in this life. The flipped gold coin burst into a dazzling arc. It seems that something was triggered, the air moved. In an instant, the sky became pitch black, and golden thunderbolts that made one's scalp tingle fell from the sky. They easily annihilated those terrifying energy balls, and then fell to the ground like a lightning waterfall. Next second, a man with a stern face, wearing a golden battle armor, a flame cloak, and holding a thunder hammer, walked out of it like a god. The other party glanced at me coldly, then looked at the sky. Dot. Thor stepped out of the summoning spell, and his eyes froze for a moment. What custom is this in Midgard? The clothes on the front are intact, but the back completely disappears, deliberately revealing a hard back, and dot 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 a perky butt. It's so perverted. There are humans exercising this part, which is beyond comprehension. Thor is not interested in men. So he turns to look at the woman floating in the sky. At the moment came in person, he felt an unusual magic power in the other party. O oh, seven O oh, crushed, abnormal, add, in the sky. Wonder, who has completely lost her mind, not only has no fear when she sees the thunderstorm, but becomes even crazier. She let out a non-human roar, and suddenly two red lights appeared in her pitch black eyes. The world undergoes terrible changes in an instant. In the eyes of Black Widows, Hawkeye and Captain America. A huge amount of scarlet wound was torn in the sky. Countless terrifying monsters, ghosts, and devils seemed to fly out of hell, and then flew downwards with their piercing screams. That scene is extremely compelling and brings boundless fear. Captain America's body is trembling, his forehead is full of sweat, and Black Widow and Hawkeye are even more unbearable. Under the shock of their hearts, their faces are bloodless, and their legs are like lead. The performance of the three fell into the eyes of countless people but no one laughed at them. They can feel that fear just through the screen. And how stressful it would be to face the scene of hell coming. If the mind is not broken, it is considered strong. Chatterum. Quill. F.K. Is this the earth? Why is it getting more and more terrifying? Mada. Uncle. I will never go back in my life. Modu. I can't understand. Even if it is magic power, why would she summon traces? Obviously she was just a test subject before. If she knew magic, she wouldn't be caught. Magician Wang. Tesseract is definitely just an inducement. This woman originally has a big problem. Holy place number two. Fear in Ebony Moore's eyes. It's obviously just an ordinary and backward planet. Why are the things that appear now more terrifying than the other? I don't know that the unlucky guy will be sent to the Earth by the Master in the future. As for Loki, he's now acquiescing that the guy has failed. Natasha Romanoff was so terrified in her heart that at this moment she even felt that even the god Thor couldn't save herself. Too much. The Black Monster army swooped down, as if the sky had collapsed with an unimaginable sense of oppression. Unstoppable. Hopeless. Since this is the case, it is better to commit suicide to avoid dragging down the gods. Die. If you die, you will not be afraid. The moment this kind of thought appeared, it swept like a wildfire, and it couldn't be stopped at all. The next second, she trembled all over, and then raised the gun to aim at her head little by little. But at this moment, snort. The deafening muffled thunder sounded, and a golden thunder tore through the red mist on the soul. In an instant, monsters, doomsday, and the torn sky all disappeared. Add. Natasha Romanoff was shocked to find herself standing there with a pistol to her temple. Not just her. Hawkeye too. Steve is a little better. His arms are frozen in midair. Her back was soaked in cold sweat for a moment, and she fully understood what happened. Obviously, what I saw just now was all fake, and my mind was confused by hallucinations. If it wasn't for Thor, she would have shot herself by now. Magician Wang, this is not a monster summoning, but mind manipulation. Mod you. Although it is still the way of magic, it is much easier to accept. Sword fighting, accept? Much stronger in my opinion. That man named Steve has a will harder than Aloy, but he was controlled in an instant. If it was later, it would end up the same as the other two companions. Quill, you talk a lot, I believe you. Fighting swords, Tony. But dot 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 that's how it was easily cracked by Thor. Old Loki, I didn't even know it was fake until that snort. Natasha Romanoff, so I'm lucky on the other side. The faint white light in Thor's eyes disappears. With a wave of his hand, three portals appeared at the feet of the three of them. Three short hours sounded, and when the three came back to their senses, they found that they had arrived at the top of the mountain hundreds of meters away. This. Who is he? Before seeing the shock coming, being rescued twice in a row, 
coupled with the instant space transfer now, Steve couldn't restrain the shock on his face and asked. Natasha Romanoff and Hawkeye glanced at each other, and Hawkeye sighed after a few seconds. His name is Thor, and he is also God. Steve didn't expect such an answer, and his expression was blank. Dot. After all, it can't be teleported back to Kamartaj. Thor looked at the distance casually, and shifted the positions of several people casually. Then he looked at the side of the woman. Again, to be honest, he didn't expect to gain something from this trip. Space gem. That is the treasure that my father left on Earth when he was fighting against the giants of Jotunheim in Norway. I didn't expect to see it today. In this way, it happened to be recycled. Tony, space gem. Isn't it Tesseract? Quill, damn, you geese don't even know what this is. What a reckless waste. Collector, is it still on Earth? I offer a bounty of four billion to acquire it. There are also cosmic spirit balls that have the same price. Hawkeye. So what the hell is this? Add, magician, this is one of the six infinity stones representing the cornerstone of the universe, which represents the rule of space. The energy contained in it is just a little bit of power attached to it. Tony, director Cyclops, it seems that you are going in the wrong direction. Kongsu, HMPH. This thing looks like a treasure, but it has no strength to protect it. It is just a life-threatening prop. What's worth mentioning is that the alien invasion that Earth is currently suffering from, I think, is for this reason. Zeus, hey, Luna. How do you know? Did the Ancient One magician let you out? Outside the light curtain. The old fox. Kong Su went numb for an instant. It forgets that it should be in Thebes' god realm, not the real dimension. At this moment, he couldn't bear to throw away his broken mouth. Sure enough, too many words will be lost. But he still hastened to make up for it. Kong Su, HMPH, although the god realm of Thebes is sealed, there are still believers on Earth after all, so we can use this to know what's going on outside. Zeus, that's it. I thought you came out and was about to invite you to the Pantheon as a guest. Kong Su, he he, I will definitely have a chance in the future. S-H-I-E-L-D. Nick Fury was even more annoyed in his heart. Tesseract is the space gem Carol will know. But for so many years, the other party didn't give me any information. If we had known its true power earlier, perhaps this alien invasion would not have happened. He kept saying to protect the weak civilizations in the universe but he didn't even protect his home planet. Now I am afraid that even the planet that promised Talos and others has been completely forgotten. Thor looked at the positions of the Sky Woman and the Space Gem, and flew in another direction in the next second, and lost her mind. Wanda immediately roared angrily, her body was filled with crimson magic power, and she flew away at the same speed. At the moment she only wants to kill and destroy. Zero dot 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 seeking flowers. Hearing the sound of the wind, Thor looked back, and a portal appeared in front of him instantly. In an instant, he flew out from the portal behind Wanda, and grabbed the space gem that was being held hostage by the other party. However, in the next moment his finger went through the gemstone. This state can actually control gems. Thor was a little surprised, but the speed didn't change. His fist raised thunder and punched Wanda on the back. Boom. A cloud of red mist suddenly appeared. Wanda appeared in another direction 100 meters away, intact. Thor is not disappointed, nor does he find it difficult. A runaway witch who looks like she just awakened, although the power level seems to be high and she can use gems easily, but, still too weak, hundreds of figures instantly split from Thor's body, completely surrounding Wanda in all directions, in the next second, all these figures raised Jonah, and the thunderbolt carrying them blasted towards the center, add, Wanda's irrational eyes didn't show any fear, but she screamed, and suddenly, crimson things of the size of fists appeared like blood cells, they're connected together, like a connected constellation, the next second, the stars light up, and all Thor's are lit up with red light, zero, then all phantoms are shattered, this scene stunned Wanda for a moment, at this time, Thor's voice suddenly appeared again in a sky above her, I saw the power of modification, it was amazing, however, modifying the illusion may not be useful, Wanda couldn't understand the sarcasm, but her instinctive anger made her look up, however, all I saw was a bucket thick golden lightning strike, at this moment, Wanda has no time to stop it, she wants to use the power of the previous space again, change the position, but then the sound of the mirror shattering sounded, and layers of mirror reflections appeared around Wanda to reflect her figure. At this time, Wanda's body exploded into a red mist, but the strange thing is that it didn't appear in other places, but took shape again on the spot. Thor just created the simplest mirror image in space. This out of control witch who only relied on instinct to fight lost space. The next moment, the golden lightning strikes Wanda's body. With a scream, Wanda and the space gem all fell to the ground. Outside the light curtain. Countless people felt unspeakable feelings in their hearts. This crazy which is a disaster for the previous three, but it is not even a battle for Thor. Totally crushing. In comparison, it is simply too different. On a mountain in the distance, Natasha Romanoff is expressionless. After all, 
Today's battle is far different from what she saw before, but the Captain America and Hawkeye I saw for the first time were frozen like statues. This kind of battle completely broke their cognition and three views. That horrible woman didn't even touch Thor's clothes from beginning to end. This is a power they cannot understand. Dot. Thor withdrew all the divine power from his body, followed by falling to the ground. He beckons lightly, and the Tesseract flies into his palm. He took a look, the shell outside the space gem is exactly as God's method. Now it is considered to be returned to the original owner. At this moment, Thor suddenly saw the woman lying on the ground tremble. He is a little surprised. Has even the physique been transformed by the space gem? And he woke up so quickly. But in the next second, he saw that the woman only opened one eye. Eyes. 1071 The God of Black Magic, Cythone. Add. Outside the light curtain. As Wanda opened one eye, a strong strangeness suddenly appeared in the hearts of countless people. Chatterum. Quill. Hey. What the hell is this? My F King scalp feels numb. Deadpool, it's really a little creepy. It feels like watching a horror movie, but it's a pity that I can't go out to buy popcorn. Gamera, seems like something woke up. Agatha, you're right. It can't be this woman's own will. It's scary. I don't know why. I feel an indescribable sense of oppression. Tony, not so exaggerated. Although I feel a little creepy and uneasy, but it's actually okay. Ebony Moore, she's a witch, arguably the most inspired of the bunch. You might really feel something. Mod you. HMPH, there is another situation. That's why she might have some connection to the damn thing. Magician Wang, I suddenly remembered something. Is the rewarder of the first question and answer also called Wanda? At that time, the Queen of God also said that this is a very special witch, so she can get the reward for breaking the magic shackles. Tony, doesn't that mean? Nick Fury, that's right. Wanda on our side probably has the same big problem as this 307 woman. Outside the light curtain, Wanda's face paled. She was just lucky before. But when at the moment saw the words of everyone in the chat room, her heart felt as if she had fallen into an abyss. The moment the dark eye opened, Thor moved, thunder and flames were reignited, and a golden lightning that was stronger than before fell from the sky, blasting on the opponent instantly. However, after finishing this step, Thor's complexion changed, and a thunderous light burst out from his body and flew into the sky rapidly. Almost at the moment he left, on the ground where he was standing, a piercing pentagram magic circle appeared at some point, and a boiling shadow appeared inside. After a few seconds, it gradually calmed down until it disappeared. Thor looks at the woman's position. The thunder that could easily knock down the opponent before has no effect this time. The woman floats up, covered with a dark cloak like a flowing shadow, at the moment is staring at him with a dark eye. Who are you? Although there is deep malice in the eyes, but Thor can see that they are sober eyes. Add. The woman floats up, until her eyes are at the same level, she suddenly shows a strange smile. As a protoss dot 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 he he, is Odin still in control of Asgard now? Thor's eyes are indifferent. I'm asking, who are you? Hearing this, the corner of the woman's mouth evoked a disdainful smile. It's just that you have controlled the thunder and flames. Do you really think you are a god? Stupid Asgardians. It seems that after the death of Ancient One, all garbage wants to take a share of the earth. Comprehension suddenly appeared in Thor's heart. This should be the will from other dimensions, maybe even a Mephista. However, he is not afraid. Although Ancient One has left Midgard, there is no other side to assist. However, this way of coming is not comparable to Festo's splitting and direct projection. The woman seems to see what Thor is thinking in her heart, and she shows a ferocious smile, and shadows appear around her body like an abyss. Dot. On the mountain peak, Natasha Romanoff, who was on the phone with Nick Fury, froze. What's the matter? Isn't the match resolved? A somewhat anxious voice came from the phone. Natasha Romanoff stared at the huge shadow refloating in the distance, and said in a daze, the solution is solved, but... It seems that a more violent one is coming. At this moment, Steve whispered weakly from the side, By the way, should we run away? Natasha Romanoff woke up like a dream, hurriedly said, Director, we need support, send the nearest fighter plane over. According to the intensity of the battle you said, I think fighter planes should be useless. Natasha Romanoff, Nick Fury confirmed with a tone that controlled the overall situation. Support shit, we're running away. Natasha Romanoff yelled at the phone, and then the three resolutely ran towards the opposite direction of the battlefield. Dot. The taste of the Ezra Protoss, I haven't tasted it for tens of thousands of years. A sneer came from the shadows, and in the next second countless black thorns formed, shooting away like a storm. The flames are created out of nothing at this time, and Firestorm goes head on. Fiery high temperature and light instantly swallowed all the shadow thorns. However, at this time, the woman slowly emerged from the shadow path behind Thor silently, and stabbed at the heart with a pitch black dagger. But at the moment she came out, add, a muffled thunder sounded in Thor's body, and in an instant, silver white lightning bolts erupted from him, and then all fell on the woman behind him. A scream sounded. The woman turned into a cloud of smoke and exploded, and then reunited into a synthesis body in the distance. Thor's eyes glowed with ice-cold white light, 
and he slowly turned around to stare at the woman with a ferocious face. Surprised, under these eyes, all shadows have nowhere to hide. If you only have this power, then dot 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 you should run away. Boom. As if irritated by these words, a terrifying breath erupted from the woman. In an instant, the black shadow around him turned into crimson again, and it was even darker than before. Escape, stupid false god. I am the lord of dimensions, the god of black magic, Scython. The doomed one will be this world. With a shocking sound, the world instantly became dark at this moment and the light seemed to be blocked by an unknown force. All the shadows on the ground seemed to come alive at this moment. Chatterum. Quill, has the earth always been this big? Why is it such a f king big boss? Ebony more, it's really a bit too much. Is this really the earth? Eshor, why does such a low-level planet have so many high-level powers? No way to understand. Ronan, not only that, the time gem and space gem are here. Gamera, this dot 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 I'm afraid. Earth originally has a big secret too. Outside the light curtain, all Eternals tighten their hearts. This time, it's not about worrying about the discovery of the larvae of the celestial group, but equally shocked the planet originally. They arrived on Earth in the 5th millennium BC, but there is no doubt that something terrible happened on this planet before this. And now, not just Mephisto, but another Mephisto peeking at the planet. Even, before they thought that a magician organization in a weak civilization would definitely not discover the seeds left by the celestial group. But now it seems that Sorcerer Supreme's power is extremely terrifying, and he has the time gem so he must know about it. At this moment, they had a premonition in their hearts. Perhaps, Thelma might not be able to conceive successfully. Far away, add. The three of Natasha Romanoff who were running suddenly felt great fear in their hearts, just like seeing those horrible phantoms when their hearts were invaded. Then they found that, just like the scene when the solar eclipse appeared, the surrounding light was extremely dim. The shadow is distorting, as if life appeared. What's even more frightening is that the three of them discovered that those shadows actually had entities, attacking them. At this time, not far away. Hawkeye saw a large Siberian hamster being entangled in shadows and suddenly froze, and then shriveled rapidly, all flesh and blood being swallowed up. He changed his expression and immediately told the two of his findings. Looking at the densely approaching shadows around them, the three of them instantly looked desperate. This level, apart from being able to fly, there is absolutely no way to escape. But at this moment, the clouds suddenly turned red. The three look up. I saw a huge amount of crack appear and a huge fireball like the sun came out of the clouds. A flash of intense light bursts out, and the world becomes extremely dazzling. So, all things appear, and the shadows fade away. 2F King exaggerated. For the first time in Steve's life, he swears, and then picks up Hawkeye, which has not been modified and already out of breath, and Natasha Romanoff hurries towards the distance exclamation mark 5.7. He ran and shouted, Where is the fighter plane? I don't know about him, the satellite phone has no signal. Natasha Romanoff cursed and followed running wildly. Now, she can only pin her life on that god. Dot. In the sky, after dispelling the activated shadow, Thor looked down with cold eyes. Although I don't know how you got your will, I didn't expect to catch a big fish so soon. The god of black magic, right. Don't worry, you will have a common topic with Mephisto soon. After speaking, he presses forward with five fingers. Suddenly, the fireball with a diameter of 100 meters began to compress extremely, and in a blink of an eye it turned into a spear burning with white flames twisting the space and flying towards Scython. 072 Magician, sorry, I'm Sorcerer Supreme. Add. The air suddenly became hot. The white flaming gun is as high as tens of thousands of degrees, and the surrounding space seems to be distorted. But Scython didn't care at all. She just let out a cold snort, opened her five fingers, and a scarlet magic circle with an evil aura formed in front of her. Suddenly, a black wind of howling bursts blows out from it. The flame gun was blown past, and immediately withered and weakened, and disappeared completely in the blink of an eye but the wind of corruption has no effect, and continues to blow toward Thor. Outside the light curtain, the eyes of countless people are full of fear. Unlike the cunning of Mephisto's combat, Scython is evil black magic when he strikes, and that's not resistance, not dodging, not to mention the kind of magic offset head-on. Just a gust of penetrating black wind blew past, instantly extinguishing Thor's flaming spear, and no trace appeared. No doubt, if this blows on the flesh and blood, I am afraid that even the dead bones will not be left behind. At this moment, Many people think that this battle will probably be even more difficult than the Hell Projection and Mephisto. Kamartaj, King Magician's expression changed. He already recognized what black magic it was. Chatteram, Magician Wang, I seem to know what black magic this is. I remember it was recorded in the Encyclopedia of Forbidden Magic Defense. The name of this spell is, yes, the Wind of Corruption called Scython. Quill, it's black magic, it sounds evil. Magician Wang, no no no. Corruption is far from being evil if it just sounds like it. As black magic, this spell is extremely sinister. Magician Kruger, I was not qualified to read this book. Why did I say that? Magician Wang, because the most terrifying thing about this black magic is the black wind. But in fact, 
The wind is the most dangerous. At first, you will have no reaction when you hear the sound, but when the black wind is about to attack, it will be too late. It will explode in the mind. Outside the light curtain. As soon as the words at the moment came out, countless people stared at the picture. Thor didn't respond, seemingly unaware of the spell's problem. It seems not good. Under the sky. Add. Thor looked at the black wind that was getting closer, and Mjolnir in his hand began to surge with energy. The range of the black wind is too large, it is not wise to avoid it. Thunder flames, restrain all the power of darkness, just break it with strength. But just when he was about to make a move, the sound of meaningless wailing suddenly sounded in Thor's heart. In an instant, Thor could only hear a violent and terrifying howling sound, and the world in front of him instantly changed into another scene. Countless corpses, werewolves, vampires, abominations, dragons. Any imaginable, unimaginable dark creatures, densely packed, surrounded him endlessly. The next second, the sky tore apart, and two huge amounts of pitch black eyes appeared in the crack. It looked down at Thor, freezing the heart with its gaze. At this moment, all the dark creatures showed their scarlet eyes and attacked him. But at this moment, fire. Thor calmly spits out a word. A little red Mars suddenly appeared in my heart. It didn't turn into a monstrous flame and burn all monsters but became brighter and brighter. That is the light released by the extreme high temperature. In an instant, all the dark monsters trembled, and then suddenly turned into steam. In the sky, the eyes in the huge cracks burst into flames. Ah! A scream appears. Thor opened his eyes, and the sound of the mirror shattering sounded instantly, and the wind of corruption blew past. And he was unharmed. Sif, that Mars dot 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 feels scary. Gamera, I feel like I'm going to burn just looking at it. Baron Mordo, 838, if you guess correctly. It may be the spiritual manifestation of the priesthood of Vulcan. Ebony Moore, listening to that scream, it seems that Scython has suffered instead. Hela, HMPH. It's just a part of the will of the descendant, and the power used is probably the witches. Such an underestimation of the Ezeprotos who obtained the priesthood. It is not bad that this part of the will was not directly burned to death. Sif, as expected of Prince Thor, the priesthood is so powerful. Magician Wang, more than that. Have you noticed that in just a few days, you have already learned the mirror space? If it were someone else, even if they could break free from the mental trap, they would probably be corroded by the black wind. But just now he instantly sent himself into the mirror space. Modu, I remember, Wang, you have spent more than a year learning this spell, and it takes two to three seconds to release it. Magician Wang, thank you for helping me remember. Modu, you're welcome. Thor did not choose to wrap Scython into the mirror space, because that will not only slow down the formation of spells, but also spread the space in the form of spreading which will also wrap the black wind. Add. That would be a waste of effort. The cracking sound sounded again, and the mirror space was released in a second. Thor looked at Scython, who was covering his eyes and smoking black smoke between his fingers, and attacked again without any hesitation. Dozens of thunderbolts fell in the sky, and Thor also turned into a shooting star with Mjolnir in his hand to attack. A shadow vortex appeared behind Scython, she stepped back and fell into it. Lightning immediately splits the air, but Thor throws out Mjolnir and follows in. The next second, Flames and thunder erupted from the black vortex, like a violent explosion happening inside. A muffled grunt sounded, Scython walked out from a shadow below. If it is the main body, he can jump in any shadow on the earth, but because the body of this island has just been awakened, he can't do it. But it doesn't matter, her eyes have recovered like this, at the moment she looked at the sky with a sneer. Stupid, you dare to throw the hammer into the shadow I created, and you will never recall it in this life. Thor looked down at the sky expressionlessly, and said lightly, idiot. He raised his right hand and suddenly a golden portal opened above, and Mjolnir fell into his hand in an instant. This is the spell he solidified on Mjolnir after learning the portal. Seeing this scene, Scython's face suddenly changed, and he said in disbelief, transfer spell. So that was a mirror space just now? Ancient One actually agreed to an Asgard man joining Kamataj as a magician. She couldn't understand why Ancient One would do this. Did she trade something with Odin? Thor said calmly, do you think I, and as a Protoss, will go to Kamataj to be a little magician? Scython suddenly sneered. I said that as long as that woman is not old and confused, she won't let ten. I am the Sorcerer Supreme. As Thor's flat voice fell, Scython suddenly seemed to have been cast with a spell of immobilization. Her eyes are full of disbelief, and she even feels that she must have fallen into an illusion. Really, the last time I possessed a corrupted which was only a few hundred years ago. Why is the world so crazy now? And what's even crazier is the next second. When he saw Thor press down with one hand, a huge amount of golden magic circle appeared. Next second, Thor threw Mjolnir downwards forcefully. After the hammer penetrated the magic circle, it split into two, two into four, and began to quickly replicate. In an instant, thousands of Mjolnir are attacking Scython in a dense mass. Scython repeats the same trick, using shadows to jump. But at this moment, all the my ore mills are scattered, and each hammer lights up with a dazzling thunder. The next second dense lightning bursts from the hammer. They are connected to each other 
forming a thunder net and falling to the ground in the blink of an eye. Add, Scython has just stepped out of the shadows, and the red magic power surged on the surface of his body to resist the falling thunder net. Thor holds one hand in the sky. In an instant, all the thunder in the thunder net gathered at Scython's position, and then they were completely detonated. Boom. First, countless electric arcs rolled outward like waves, and then a plasma that made 920's scalp tingle appeared at the center of the convergence. But it's not over yet. Orm Jolna floating in midair, first fell to the ground like a meteor. Boom boom boom. Across a mountain, the three Natasha Romanovs who were fleeing frantically for their lives suddenly felt the ground vibrate like a magnitude 12 earthquake. They have to work hard to maintain their balance and then look back. Then I saw countless black shadows falling from the sky like a storm as well as violent explosions that continued to soar into the sky. The only difference is that the explosion was not flames, but a large number of dense and terrifying arcs burst. Hawkeye stared blankly at this scene that he couldn't even imagine, and murmured, Thor is on top. Is he so fierce in the mythological records? Captain America opened his mouth, but didn't say anything. If there was such a teammate in World War II, 80,000 Red Skulls would have died. At this time, Black Widow said quietly, I've seen him fiercer. Hawkeye and Captain America turned their heads and looked at each other. Then dot 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 the three ran away again. It's too fierce. If it wasn't for the mountains, Shockwave would have rushed over. But who knows if it will be able to stop the fiercer attack in the wild. Run quickly, if you slow down, you may see Grandma. Outside the light curtain, at this moment no one laughed at the three fleeing wildly. When gods fight, mortals suffer. It's great to be alive. No shame. In the sky, Thor looked indifferent, waved again. Suddenly, Golden thunderbolts join the explosion, and the ground at the moment is like forming a pond of thunder. The plasma is tumbling and stirring like boiling, and the arcs bursts and spreads. Scython is nowhere to be seen. But at this moment, a crazy voice of rage suddenly appeared in the thunder pond. You insult me like that. Caught death. In an instant, the sky turned red. 073 The power of origin magic power. Add. The cloud layer of divine power should have been controlled by Thor, but it turned red at this moment. Thor is a little surprised. This was impossible. But now it is possible. Why is this happening? At the moment, because of the loss of control over the clouds, the thunderbolt no longer bombards and falls. In the tumbling thunder pool, the same thick has a blood pool. The next second, a ripple spread out from inside, and all the replicas of Mjolnir disappeared tremblingly. Thor raises his hand and shakes it. Mjolnir returns to his hand with a whistling sound. Sif, that's weird. What the hell happened? Hala, by the way, can black magic achieve this effect? Magician Wang. It should not be possible. Dot, 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 dot. The most important thing is that I don't see any traces of magic, it doesn't look like a magic effect. Baron Mordo, 838, no. There's magic at work here. Or in other words, use powerful magic power to directly urge another kind of power. Professor X 838, to be honest, I didn't expect Wonder in this timeline to have this kind of power. After all your 199,999 universe doesn't seem to have mutants. Tony, what are mutants? Deadpool. It's just that there is an extra X gene in the body, and ability does all kinds of hard work. Richard, well, it's a bit vulgar, but it gets to the heart of it. Professor X, and Wanda is not only a witch, she is also a mutant. Agatha, so, what are her powers? Outside the light curtain, she was feeling uneasy in her heart. Sure enough, the next second, Professor X, her variant ability is a probability modification. Quill, one thing to say, this ability is really powerful. Gamera, what did you think of? Quill. I want to have this kind of ability, go to the land of nothingness to buy a one-time lottery ticket, have you sent it? Gamera, I just knew. Tony, is there a limit to the modification probability? Professor Rex, the concept of ability has no limit, but our wonder originally has a limit. Tony, that's scary too. If I fight her, I'm afraid I'll have to watch out for armor malfunctions at any time. Richard, exactly. And not only that, she can also make the magician's spells fail. There is nothing 100% in the world, even if the probability of failure is 1 in a billion, she can adjust it to 100%. Fortunately, her original strength is not strong, and she cannot exert this level of strength. Add, Baron Mordo, but she also has another kind of power, magic, and the combination of the two has produced unimaginable changes. Ebony Moore, what has the power become? Black Bolt, maybe we shouldn't say it. Richard, that doesn't make sense, this wonder is much stronger than ours and the power has already appeared. Quill, what the hell, you guys? Magician Wang, I have an ominous premonition. Baron Mordo, you guessed it right, Wonder's two-in-one power is called Origin Magic Power. In addition to its power, besides modification probability, mind control, etc., and spellcasting, etc., it also has the greatest ability. Tony, don't be a fool. Richard, I did models. When that power is strong enough to a certain level, it can alter reality. The chat room is instantly dead silent. In a small town in Northern Europe, Agatha is struck by lightning at this moment. Scarlet Witch, the legend recorded in the Dark God book, is also the most powerful witch in the world. This, 
turns out to be true. At the same time, a greater chill appeared in her heart. Scython. Why can he directly occupy the heart of such a powerful witch? After a few seconds, Frigga, this legend is recorded in the witch's forest, but I didn't expect it to be true. Fighting swords, is this alter reality exaggerated? Magician Wang, I can't understand that magic can do it. Sorcerer Supreme is not that powerful either. Ronan, that sounds literally more powerful than infinite gems. Can't, if such an existence really existed, she would have conquered everything long ago, and nothing can stop her. Richard, this is definitely also limited. Wonder in our universe has this power though but she is only theoretically able to do alter reality. In reality, she couldn't even change an apple into a banana. Professor Rex, so the upper limit of this ability depends on different worlds Wanda originally. Richard, more figuratively speaking, this power is more like a super lever. How much you can leverage depends on how powerful Wanda is. If she is strong, she can even move the universe. On the contrary, if it is weak, it may only be able to pry a floor. For example, this Scython, under the control of his will, can alter reality, making Thor's thundercloud his own. Tony. What an unimaginable force, Lord Mordo, not only that. Now there's an even scarier question. That is, why did Scythons will come to the heart of the Chaos Witch? As soon as this remark came out, the chat room fell silent again. Add, no the secret dimension originally Mephisto will not tell. I don't know, but at this moment, I feel the penetrating coldness and terror. And inside S-H-I-E-L-D. At this moment, Nick Fury at the moment felt a chill from head to toe. He also remembered that Wanda in his own timeline was rewarded, but, their own Thor can't do it. Even. This Thor in the Light Curtain may not be able to win. Thor looks down, seeing that the Thunder Pool dissipated almost instantly, and the speed of the overflow is also unreasonable. Although there was an accident, he did not have the habit of sitting still. In an instant, the battle armor on his body turned red, as if magma was flowing from the gap. The next second, the plasma flame burned on him, turned into a miniature sun and hit Scython straight. And in the dazzling light, the shadow became extremely dim at this moment directly preventing the opponent's shadow from jumping and dodging. But at this time, he found that the other party was standing straight in the same place. In an instant, a red magic circle rose above Scython's head. Following a grinning grin, burning crimson fireballs shot violently from the magic circle towards the sky. Occasionally, a certain fireball changes and becomes bigger and bigger. Thor frowns slightly. He didn't understand why the opponent made such a useless attack. A fireball of this level can't even break the ionic flames on his body let alone hurt his divine body. Will Mephisto do meaningless things in one dimension? Obviously not. At this time, collision has happened. All the bloody fireballs that touch the flames on Thor's body explode instantly. This is nothing to worry about, because the power of the explosion is too weak for him. But only one tenth of a second passed, everything changed. Because of various coincidences, the power of those fireball explosions was superimposed together, and the power multiplied geometrically. So, in an instant, a red sun swallowed the golden meteor rapidly expanded to a file size of 100 meters, and then exploded. Boom! A bloody light shot straight into the sky, instantly breaking up the clouds built by divine power in the sky. And the terrifying shockwave, swept everything around to form a terrifying storm spread, and almost instantly skipped the mountain range where Black Widow and the others were before. At this moment, the whole mountain is shaking crazily, shaking, and then cracking. A few kilometers away, Captain America flew the hesitation, who was running wildly led the two of them to hide behind a boulder. Fortunately, there are mountains in the way. The aftermath has weakened a lot, but the boulder was shaken, making several people turn pale. When the storm passes, when the three of them looked at the huge mountain range that had been devastated with only a little more of its roots left, they couldn't think at all. Add, what a terrifying power that is, and how terrifying the center of the explosion where Thor is. In the end, all the thoughts in the minds of the three became one. Run, maybe it will happen again. The remaining base of the mountain range will be gone and there will be no scum left of the dead ones. Dot. And at this moment, the original location of Scython has turned into a deep pit hundreds of meters away. But he is not inside, but appears in the sky. On the contrary, Thor at the moment is half kneeling at the bottom of the big pit. The upper half of his armor has been completely shattered, revealing his strong body underneath. He looked up at Scython who was smiling triumphantly in the sky. His face was calm, and the white light in his eyes was dazzling. Outside the light curtain. Thor's reaction made it difficult for countless people to understand. Not only is there no trace of anger, not at all disturbed, on the contrary, the calmness is terrifying. At this moment, countless people dare not even take a big breath. But at this time, a very incredible thought arose in Dujian's heart. He said, sword fighting, I suddenly feel that Thor may have taken this trick on purpose. Quill, isn't that stupid? Tony, no, no, no. When he said that, I suddenly understood where, Li Nu Ozao, was in harmony with just now. Deadpool, what? There was an unreasonable Dixie just now. Tony, definitely yes. This Thor has never been the kind of reckless man who goes crazy and fights in chaos. He had clearly noticed something was wrong just now, but he still didn't choose to dodge, but went down head on. Loki, 
I see. He wants to experience for himself what is the power to find Scythorn's sudden change. Quill. Well, isn't this explanation too forceful? Sif. By force. Don't forget, besides being the god of thunder and fire, he is also the god of wisdom. Vertical bar is it luck that makes the fireball happen so many coincidences. Dot 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 vertical bar. No, that moment happened so many times. I won't have this kind of luck every time. Yang. And if it's not luck, then it can be sure that it's the power to modify the probability. Every coincidence and accident has become a 100% occurrence. Since this is the case, the copy that deprived the clouds and erased Germa before was also modified. It's just that it should be more advanced. But at the same time, he should not be able to use that power at will, and there is a certain limit, otherwise he can just modify my life directly. Thor looked at Scythorn silently and knew what to do in an instant. 074 Shadow Dragon. Add. Thor soars into the sky, and the divine power armor covers his upper body again like going back in time. At the same time, Scythorn has raised his hand to control the magic power, and a distorted blood-colored magic circle appeared. All of a sudden, blood arrows with curses and bursting effects shot out of it. Thor sees this and the flame cloak rises in the wind, and then ripples, and countless fire crows fly out from it. But Scythorn's eyes glowed red, and the fire dissipated immediately. They were constructed by divine power and their existence time became one second due to accident. Thor is not surprised. He opened his hand again, and one portal after another suddenly opened in front of the blood arrow. But in an instant, they flickered and burst open. Even so, there are still new portals being reopened. He doesn't care about Scythorn's modification. Thor flies rapidly in the sky, delaying the blood arrow to catch up with him. Continue to cast spells at the same time and fire crows will continue to appear behind you. Scythorn snorted coldly. Origin magic power erupts again. Long hair dances wildly. Eyes glow red. The next second, the red cloud in the sky roared, and a series of red lightnings shrouded Thor! Exclamation mark 670 Thor let go of his hand, and Mjolna disappeared. His eyes are shining brightly, and it is the first time to construct a magic circle with both hands. In an instant, the sound of mirror space activation sounds. Add. Scythorn grasped with five fingers and immediately failed to cast the spell. But at this time, there was a violent vibration and roar on the ground. The invisible Mjolna fell to the ground and revealed it. In an instant, a solidified teleportation spell appeared. It didn't fail. Thor stepped back to the ground. The red thunderstorm strikes at his position just now, and he has a new casting time. This time, it's the mirror space again. He crossed his hands, and then pushed outward, and dozens of Thors were separated from his body. Shape of Icon. This is just a spell named after the developer Icon not a magic that borrows power dimension. And under the interference of origin magic power, the number of duplications of this spell has increased from hundreds, and it has successfully appeared a few times. BDCH, but that's enough. Thor is for this moment. In an instant, a dozen duplications use their full power. Densely packed fire crows burst out thunderbolts from the palms of both hands, summoning rain of fire to rain down from the sky, and firing flaming guns one after another, and create a large number of portals above the head and the exit on the other side is above Scythorn's head. For a while, the whole battlefield became extremely gorgeous. Although there is no such extremely powerful attack, it is better than a word. Many Thor wants this effect. Use a lot of spells to let Scythorn resist and modify it. Add. What is the Azaprotos best at? Endurance. And how much magic power can a witch who just awakened have? This is Scythorn's biggest weakness. On the premise of ensuring his own safety, he can let the other party modify it as much as he wants. At this time, all the portals have disappeared. Red thunder is coming, and the lightning and flame attacks made by duplication are also annihilated in the air. But there will be fish that slip through the net after all. The sound of the mirror shattering sounded, and the mirror space spell was successful. The next second, the screen splits like a tear. The spaces where the red lightning and Thor are located are staggered from left to right. This is one of the scary things about mirror space. The creator is very powerful in controlling the space here. Scythorn wants to use alter reality again to make the visual space collapse. But at this moment, Sharp space spikes appeared around him and pierced through her body. Scythorn is not dead. Her eyes continued to glow red, and her body was pulled out from the space spikes little by little, looking extremely terrifying. After going out completely, the cracks on the body squirmed and gathered again. The scalps of countless people outside the light curtain watching this scene are numb. Add. So weird, so creepy. At this time, another group of fire crows attacked, but they lost their shape in the blink of an eye, turned into a ball of flames and extinguished. Scythorn is not stupid. He knows that the other party wants to consume his origin magic power. But how could he let the other party get what he wanted? The horror of origin magic power is not only to modify others, but also to modify yourself definitely. He opened his arms, and suddenly a dark magic circle appeared on the ground. The next second, he used almost all of his origin magic power to start influencing. The spatial movement that wants to split the magic circle is frozen, and then the violent crimson light shines on the magic circle. Modification completed. The magic circle which was originally only tens of meters in diameter, 
instantly expanded to hundreds of meters, and densely packed distorted runes were born on the surface. The next second, with a deafening roar, a shadow dragon hundreds of meters long soars into the sky from the magic circle. Its wingspan covers the sky and the sun, and its body exudes dense black energy, which carries an ominous and withering power. Thor is not only not afraid when he sees this, instead, he showed a sneer. It's a dead end. His eyes are filled with thunder, and the sky is instantly covered with dark clouds. The next second, he turned into a bolt of lightning and sank into the clouds. 075 Victory. Seal. Add. In an instant, the dark clouds like ink stains began to roll. The next second, thousands of thunderbolts flickered together, forming a huge, extremely majestic Thor face. Outside the light curtain, countless people instantly remembered that this was exactly the trick Thor used to fight Mephisto before. But just after the battle, Mephisto tried to injure Ancient One severely, and then sealed Thor. But now it seems that it is even more terrifying than then. For a time, countless people showed awe and excited eyes. Roar. Shadow Dragon let out a deafening roar, and then ran towards Thor's face in the clouds without any hesitation. However, with the sound of thunder, an extremely shocking scene appeared. The clouds rolled violently, and in the next second, huge amounts of Ting's arm broke through the dark clouds, and opened the terrifying palm with clearly visible fingerprints, grabbing towards the Shadow Dragon. Quill. FK, this is too exaggerated. Gamera. Not just a Thor's face in the clouds, but a whole Thor giant. Hawkeye, I feel so small at this moment, and I fully understand the difference between gods and mortals. Hela, it's unimaginable that he has been able to do this. Deadpool, that's too much. On the ground, Scython, who had tried his best to summon the Shadow Dragon, suddenly became extremely ugly. Next moment, he saw a giant thousands of meters high, completely made of thunder, and an extremely dazzling giant invaded from the clouds. And the Shadow Dragon, which is hundreds of meters away, looks like a toy in front of the other party. There was another roar, Shadow Dragon wanted to avoid the giant hand with its flexible flight. However, the giant looks clumsy, but its speed is not slow. With a backhand clasp of the giant hand, he firmly grasped the Shadow Dragon's wings. Suddenly the sound of explosion sounded. Add. The black mist crazily spread from the Shadow Dragon, but it was destroyed by the thunder. The next second, an extremely majestic voice resounded through the sky. Die. Thunder Giant held the Shadow Dragon in his hand and slammed it to the ground with a violent vibration. The Shadow Dragon turned into countless smoke in the garden and dispersed. At this time, the eyes of Thunder Giant became brighter. In an instant, the body turned into a terrifying thunderstorm sweeping across the earth, covering all the black smoke. With a shrill and desperate sound, the Shadow Dragon summoned from another dimension was killed by Thor in a blink of an eye. But the storm didn't stop. Among the dense thunderstorms, Scython struggled to hold on. But at this moment, he saw a pair of eyes. A pair of eyes without a trace of emotion blooming with pure white light. In a flash, the world changes. This is a pure white space. Wonder, who was full of fear and despair, was crushed under the rubble. And above the ruins, there is a stone tablet etched with this strange symbol, and terrible black smoke is constantly emitting from it. Professor X, this is Wonder's mind world. Magician Wang, seems like Scython is controlling Wonder through that steel. Baron Mordo. Professor. Did you see this deal when you first entered Wonder's mind? Professor X, not at all. But it may not be the Maybe it's just hidden. And in this world, because of a huge energy injection of the space gem, not only did Wanda become stronger, but the stone tablet also appeared. Magician Wang. These Mephisters are really scary, I don't know where they left their means. Even, it may not be the only one behind Wanda. Outside the light curtain, Agatha shuddered, because the Book of Darkness was written by Scython. Add, boom. A golden lightning bolt appeared in the pure white space. Thor has come. He pressed on the stone tablet with one hand, and thunderbolts erupted from his palm and then turned into chains and tightly entangled on it. But it's not over yet. Thor's eyes shot out a white light, forming a rune of Dalun, completing the seal. He actually wanted to crush it directly. But when the thunder is wrapped around it, he knows it's impossible. Scython is Dimension Mephister after all. With his current strength, he cannot break the opponent's means. However, maybe Enzizen has a calendar. The next second, Thor walked down the ruins, looked at the girl whose eyes were full of fear and expectation, and stretched out his hand. Who are you? Are you here to save me? Wanda burst into tears. First I was tortured by experiments, and then I was crushed under the weight of horrible things, asking for flowers. This is simply a nightmare for her. Thor nodded and said, Don't be afraid, it's all over. After speaking, he held Wanda's hand, and the ruins dissipated immediately. Outside the light curtain, countless people showed expressions of awe. First Mephisto, then there's Scython. The two-dimensional Mephisto falls backwards in Thor's hands, although one is only part of the will down, and the other is manipulated through the imprint. But even so, it is something that countless people dare not even think about in this life. This is more than powerful to explain. Add, left over. Kang's eyes lit up. At this moment, there was an uncontrollable excitement in his heart. Maybe, I don't have to stay here forever. This Thor, may be able to defeat those evil selves. Dot.
Accompanied by the roar of the engine, Nick Fury and Captain America stared blankly at the scene below. The ground has completely disappeared, leaving a big black hole, staring at the three of them coldly like the eyes of the abyss. After several minutes passed, Hawkeye hoarsely said, Director, what is the highest level of confidentiality in SHIELD? Level 13. The answer is Natasha Romanoff. At this time, Steve with thick eyebrows and big ease said silently, I think it's about level 20. Nick Fury denies, it's not that far yet. After all, he has seen Carol's record. But at this moment Steve whispered, I mean to prepare for the future. Do you think this is the limit of that god? Nick Fury froze for a moment. It makes sense, he can't refute it at all. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.